There we go. A bit messier than usual with the stream, but yeah, just a last second thing that popped up. Anyways, ahoy everyone, and welcome back. <laughs> ahoy everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Hey, it's your mighty Lieutenant Drakir, at your service. And welcome back to the Dark Side Detective 2, A Fumble in the Dark, even though it doesn't actually have a 2 in the title, but... Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I put up a bit of a new decoration piece, because, let's be honest, I am just completely tired of people just showing up, going, Hi, love your stuff, uh, when I commission stuff, you <laughs> know. So, yeah. yeah, hopefully they'll get the point across to get the fuck out. Yeah, the, the last one was a bit more convincing than the other ones. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, last time... <coughs> and then for any explanation, I've been sick most of this week. So, yeah, that's why there have been all well, less streams. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so listen, what is with this game that doesn't like you out? Okay, now your avatar works better. Yeah, I, I might need to swap back to the previous way of... Uh, <coughs> yeah, the, the previous way of a uh, recording VC face. But uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, last time uh, we got a mechanical elephant to work after, well, interfering in clown court. And of course, oh, when we have to use a clown car, they first had to get like 50 freaking clowns out before we could make use of it. Oh and, dear. Yeah, we're dealing with a demon clown, it seems. <clears throat> Hey little boys and girls, won't you come to Shingled World? I'm going to go into a clown infested hellhole. <clears throat> I bet I will even cover our record. Oh, Location. I, yeah, I bet they will even cover our relocation fees. <clears throat> and oh, as so is clear, I'm still somewhat sick, so yeah. Yeah, I've been telling the captain that uh, are you up for steam or you want to rest? <laughs> this is and health comes first. Yeah, it, if it gets too much with the coughing, we can call it off earlier. Yeah, also, I'm gonna test something here. Mm -hmm. Ah, alright, that's normal. Uh, so there you go, <laughs> Discord said they have temporary changed the soundboard. It's a new spook here. Yeah, it could that be that they called it off already. Oh, wait, I just realized. I used the, our own. I'm gonna use the official one. Alright, that's the normal. So, yeah, might be just be when you ping someone or that. But I did hear when I joined a spooky version of usually joining in. Okay. Let's see. Maybe you were. Oh, <clears throat> maybe you were into something with this wool, not a fan of clowns things. Let's see, we've got some broken poles, a broken horse head, the damaged dried, of course, and a pile of clothes. Uh, I've actually learned that there is a game sort of similar to this, not by the same developers, uh, the Phantom Fellows. I might look into that a bit, but next year, maybe. <clears throat> some of the horse poles got wedged in the ground during the crash. People are always saying, don't talk about the elephant in the room. But if you, but if I came home and there was an elephant just hanging out there, you better believe I'm telling everyone. <laughs> Not the way they mean, Dooley. I'd be phoning up exes and letting them know how well life was going for me. Enough about my elephant. How's yours? You don't have one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Dooley? Dooley! Dooley! It's not a real horse, Dooley. I knew that! Great. Thankfully, no harm was done. What? But what? But, but, but look at the old carny! No harm was done, Dooley. That guy just vanished before our eyes. This clown is definitely our guy. The balloon. Says congrats on not being sucked into an alternative, alternative dimension. 
I hope he kept the, the receipt. Yeah, I almost said that one. Proceed. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we can just move along, it seems, or, or not. We can't leave while the maniac is free to kidnap people. Uh, let's see. Stretchy rubber balloon. It's hollow, but still has some weight to it. It's hollow because the soul has left. Again, it was not a real horse. And some jagged metal. Alas, poor Tobot. I knew him well. Can we maybe put that in? We need to climb the around and get back. Uh, hmm. What can we actually do then? Hmm. No, no harm was done, but plenty of property damage at the very least. Um, how? I doubt we can go stab them. Yeah, I don't think I should get too close to that clown. Pop the balloon. Be free, friend air. Pop balloon. A length of stretchy rubber. Can can we give that to him? Wait. No. Stretchy rubber holes. Uh. The balloon just about fits, but it's tight. <laughs> okay, this is. I'm just also about to make a giant sling. But... <clears throat> Get hold oh, of this, Dooley, and I'll aim the horse's head. But last time, it's not a real horse. Yeah, right. I remember that. <laughs> the mafia says hi, shingles. Ah, my beautiful makeup covered face. He's up. How did we knock the ghost? I guess that's why they say you should never fire a gift horse into the mob. Let's lock him up in the animal cages before he wakes up. <laughs> Someone has company now. Right, that's him locked up. That's like that selfish baby. Tam, yeah, does not like to share. Well, if Tam's got a new cellmate, Tam might as well see what in his what's in his pockets. Uh, looky, looky, Tam got his, himself a confiscated man. The lion doing ain't nobody's friend. Well, no. What have we got here? Machine, uh, machine instructions. It seems to be blueprints of some kind. I see. So we are lucky for somebody with blueprints. A uh, Smurf, maybe? Not really? that kind. <laughs> That whole tribe is number two on my list of suspects, buddy, but I mean it's a schematic. But for what? A teleporter, maybe? Yeah, I guess that certainly makes sense. But it's not. let's not jump to conclusion. Good solid police work will get us uh, will get us where we need to go. It's totally a teleporter. Sure, it does say teleporter right there, though. No, you have it upside down. <laughs> Uh, we just know this game vibe, huh? <laughs> uh, this game making me laugh is going to go, is only going to make my coughing worse. <clears throat> let's see. Okay, let's see. It says combine large blast of energy with something moving 88 meters per hour to teleport it. That certainly explains the energy dips. I think we may have to recreate this to find those people. Don't leave Tam here with this bozo. We ain't got nobody to talk to. Malbot will talk with you. Really? No, <laughs> Malbot is a natural at clowning around. <laughs> ah, Tam just got roasted. Roasted real good. <laughs> also, 88 robot. meters. 88 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that rings a bell. <laughs> Back to the future. Who are you all? Well, I'm Mr. Rubs. This here's Unstoppable Runs. Too many eyes. Mr. Dirt. In <laughs> into D2 and Connie S. Sir, the Connie S. Er. Hi, hello, honk. Yes, <laughs> pleased to meet you, mate. Bill, don't honk at the man. Jesus. <laughs> what were you doing in there? I thought it was the lawyer's car. It is, but it's also our office. We're clown lawyers. His car is your office. And our home. I. Don't know why I sounded so enthusiastic saying that. It's not a sign of success, is it? 
we're having difficulty getting clients since the city let us go. For some reason, people don't want to hire the law firm of Payson rubs dirt into uh, <laughs> Payson rubs dirt into your eyes and runs to represent them in court. Okay, that was that was a good one. <laughs> Wait, no, I hear it now. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> yeah, I should thought that through. Yeah. At least I could have gone with the abbreviations. Single seems to use large bursts of energy with things moving as, you know, at speed to teleport people. I wonder if we can reach the, uh, we, the retreaters to find the missing people. Okay, so... Now that moves, sort of. Detective? Raxam? What brings you here? And who's your friend? Oh, where are my manners? This is my boyfriend, Bazam. Pleased to meet you guys. No judgment, but is he a ghost? Yes, it's a funny story, actually. We met through my Inspector's in gig. I was called to exercise a home he was haunting. Instead, she exercised my heart. <laughs> ah, ghost babe. <laughs> okay, this is a new development. <laughs> so, you were a colleague of Roxas? I guess, sort of. Same line of business, anyway. Okay, a competitor, is it? Well, just don't exercising me here. <laughs> Seriously, please don't. Where do we get the feeling we might just have to? I hope that. Hey, detective. <laughs> I see dead people. Romantically. I guess you do. <laughs> Here's the thing about ghosts that actually confused me. Hmm? Like. There are things that obviously are illegal for so many reasons, that's just how horrible it is. But apparently, rumors with ghosts is legal, if I remember right. Okay. And or, here, I th here I thought we were going to use the clown car for the speed, but nope. Uh, use them as something else. Or, uh, I should not say legal more if there's no law against it. Just. There's no laws around it, beginning with, if I remember right. Could be, um... This there's is... plenty of gaps in the law with such things. Yeah, but still at the same time, makes you wonder, wouldn't it then be to be a bit the ghost technically be... a certain crime? Perhaps. <clears throat> I didn't spend a weekend eavesdropping on, uh, on a veterinarian school for this. I think I'm gonna quit and go follow my dreams of being a mechanic. Wait, art. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's actually look over this. Oh, hello, uh, Robo Bear. Robotic Bear. That is something you don't see every day. I mean, it's common enough for if you go to the right kind of bars. And certain pizzerias. Was that a FNAF reference? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Wow, what a selection! Chocolate covered delusions, rusty knee surprise, emotional licorice. Can we get something, please? No, 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 no. Greetings, candy's the name and candy's my game. Candy? It's short for Candifer, family name. Makes it hard to get non treat for other jobs, mind you. A fun fact. I have a PhD in biochemistry that's just going to waste. That's less fun. Uh, could we have some candy? Sure, what do you like? Some gummy bear... <laughs> gummy bear balls, maybe? Or pickled caramels? What about sugar-coated medicine? Um, I'll have an assortment, I guess. One assortment, I guess, coming <laughs> right up. <laughs> assortment of candy. What do you know about the missing people? I know that they are no longer buying my candy. To the point. So, Kendifer, family name, you say? Oh, yes, my father was Kendifer, as was his wife. But my great grandfather, Kendifer, was famous for his can, can do fur attitude, while his, while my only okay grandfather, Kendifer, was a dog. Lovely chap, died <laughs> chasing a car, the poor thing. I can have 14 cousins all called Kendifer. It makes opening gifts at Christmas as exciting as it is confusing. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Come back from retreat soon. My daughter Kennifer is nearing college aid and need all the help I can get to cover the bills. Uh, that must be utter hell. <laughs> it's merry go round. Look back. Okay. It's a shame the wheel is broken. I wanted to ride it to the gates of heaven and pry them open with the centurion spear I brought from Amazon. Next time you won't be so lucky, God. Nina, whatever I told you about slicing your way into afterlives. We're already we're already barred from Valhalla. Sorry, Mom. Wait, that was a typo. <coughs> hmm? You you read it what it's supposed to say, but there was a typo. Okay. It's a ma'am. It's an assortment of candy with such delicacies as Mr. Rumbo sugar mustache, live bats covered in chocolates, and chocolate coffee fondue. Coffee fondue? Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have you seen a few typos in this game? A few rare ones, I think. Some, uh, some in spelling, some in grammar. <laughs> Finally, somebody I can voice this whole mess onto. We're just here investigating the missing people. That and these trapped people ain't my problem anymore, sucker. <laughs> can you tell me anything about these missing people? Ugh, persistent, aren't you? Not much. There was word of somebody going missing earlier, then I had a flash up in one of the boots, and the thing hasn't worked since. How many people are left up there? There's literally no way to know the answer to that. Okay, well, I don't know the answer to that. When did the ride lose power? You know, there was a flash, I got some people out, and then I got sucked into this Tamagotchi... Uh, uh, sucked into this Tamagotchi. One of them gave me a thanks. You were telling me that the digital pad was more important. What age is it? I got this one to adopt... Dooley! I need her advice! My nurse advice beyond the uh, hatchling! Relatable. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever had one of those things. My entire <laughs> school had it at one point. Yeah, thank goodness you're going. You've been really wrecking the otherwise chill vibe here. I, I would say this for people who are curious. No one in the entire school got past hatchling. I know physicists, but that does not look at all safe. Uh, oh, we can climb the thing. Okay, Tunnel of Love. That's going to get awkward. We use that to get the people who were trapped in the lower levels down. What about those higher up? Are they still up there? It's a fairly short ladder. <laughs> <They're> confiscated. <laughs> okay. Booth with pile of clothes. This must have been where one of the people went missing from. Why are they getting naked before running away? I don't think it's on purpose. Oh, getting naked by mistake is something that I can relate to. What? I mean, it looks like the clothes got left behind when they got taken. Yeah, same. <laughs> what? I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> Are you okay in there? Are you kidding me? I've paid good money to be locked up and ignored. I consider this a freebie. Okay. Detective, it's great to see. This is not what it looks like, Patrick. It's not? No. No? No. So, you're not? No. We're not? No, we're not. What a relief! Is it? That's a relief, I mean. <laughs> it should be. It's not. Because for me, it's there, I thought. Me too. You were trapped on the Ferris wheel? Oh. Yeah. Phew! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm drawing a bit of a blank on who they are, uh, but we have seen them before, yeah. Actually, wait. isn't isn't the Nuggets uh, their boss? Wait, wait. <clears throat> Hold on. <coughs> I thought for a moment that that was uh, Dooley's uh, grandmother. 
but yeah. Okay, yeah, now I'm confused. Wait, what? <laughs> these two? Didn't we meet these two in the last? Uh, 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 not in the Irish one, but uh, in the Elry home one? Mm, maybe her at the desk? That's the best I can remember at the moment. Like, we do have a week between each of these streams. And it has... Well, we, <laughs> we played the last game last year, so... My shoddy memory is, well, not going to be much help with that. Uh, I, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I thought about a few episodes ago. Not that many years... Uh, a year ago. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think Doris might be from uh, the retirement home. Could be that I'm completely wrong with that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I thought coming to the carnival was going to be so twee and boring. But here we are, trapped in a cage, precariously suspended hundreds of miles above the floor. So romantic. But not that high, unless this thing has, stands on extendo legs or something. I don't see a way up. Well, we tried really hard. Time to go back to station and fill in some paperwork. Or we can make our own way up. I don't have options, but mine has for paperwork. You love paperwork. <laughs> right. Can we use this to get to people? <clears throat> if... Actually, so I, I have noticed something which does relate to this, sort of. <laughs> I think you and me sort of quote-unquote like paperwork? Yeah, sort of. I, li I like making adjustments to the, the scenes in OBS here for improving stuff, even though it is not too common. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe it's more of... I actually make notes on paper on occasion. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Hmm, this ramp seems to be up and running. I wonder. Yeah, up. Are we going to use the tunnel of love to quote unquote teleport? But uh, Captain, look at the tunnel. Yeah, it's glowing eerily. His heart seems a little loose. Drink. Whoops. You're not not whoops at all. Me mechanism? Looks like him the mechanism for the water's flow. Let's have a look. <coughs> Looks like I need to adjust these levers to get the water pressure flowing at 88 meters per hour. Which I think is about where that green mark on the gauge is. Yeah, now I just have to figure out the, uh, the lever values. Okay. Okay. That one lowers. That one doesn't seem to do much of anything. That didn't seem to do anything. It looks like some levers work in pairs. If you follow the pipes, I should be able to work out what is linked to what. Okay, so that one. Yeah. Ooh, just a bit too much. Yep. I think I have the speed I need. Okay, that, that was me just fooling around mostly. Okay. <coughs> also, before I forget completely, <laughs> who can give you candy? In the case for cash. Give you lots of treat hits if you can hide in this. You can hide in the stash. Oh, the candy man can. Yes, one would presume that the candy man can. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Oh, t-shirt cannon. <clears throat> a t-shirt cannon. How can I n I not? It's like how can I not, but with a cannon in it. So I wanted to combine cannon and cannot, but it, it came out as cannot cannot not. <laughs> that makes no sense. What will you have said? I cannot not leave this here. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, I see what you were going for anyway. <laughs> Thanks. I, th I think some of these lines are just from absolute terrible jokes they wrote out, and then they just had fun <laughs> writing out responses to those terrible jokes. Yeah, sometimes they feel like actual, almost things like you and me would say to each other. If you ask me, <clears throat> and I know that you did not, so please hold your objection until the end, 
anyone trapped up there brought it on themselves by leaving the ground and angering the gravity gods. Oh, for love of the way. <laughs> the swan is eyeballing me. <laughs> I guess that's. It's, it's equal to uh, They're falling and alluring. I have to agree with that one. Also, something I only just realized recently, it, it looks like Dooley is the only one with an eye, but that's only because his cap has a little bit hanging off of it, I think. Uh, look at it yourself. Is... Oh. That's oh, his I don't hair. Know that's supposed to be... <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> this entire time I thought Dooley was the only one with an eye. <laughs> oh, dear. It's... Hmm. Maybe I can use this right to recreate the teleporter on this cinematic. Swan is ready to go at 88 meters per hour. Now to source a power source. Wait, what? <laughs> what, 88 meters per hour? Yep, not kilometers. Okay. Which would be pretty fast for a swan like this. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see why I got concerned a bit there. Useful for blowing holes in walls of laundry. Can we... No, we can't make a candy gun. The heart shape, actually. Presentation is half the battle. I thought that was no wing. <laughs> okay, apparently Dooley watches G.I. Joe. Selection of strange candies in a sort of heart shaped box. And a ribbon he pulled some out of somewhere. <laughs> Have you only seen a little bit of G.I. Joe? Only issue is I probably caught the end with the little uh, message plots and never saw the beginning, so I never knew what the series was called. <laughs> Anyways, hello in chat, Pico. Why have I been awake since 6 a.m.? Have you been trying to join Tatum, uh, Tatum with Satisfactory or something? Oh, dear. Hello, Pico. And also, thank you for reminding me. I went to bed and forgot to turn my uh, clock one hour back. Oh, I... So... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Completely it's, missed uh... this area here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, now winter time. Are you still doing that summer and winter time uh, clock thing? So I realized a bit why I woke up one hour too early. Oh uh, yeah, welcome to the Dark Side Detective for Fumble in the Dark Peak, huh? Let's see, been woke uh, Ben woke up early to go hunting, I've just been awake. Okay. Oh yeah, at least hunting? you can be awake with a funny spook game. What the heck does a Pika hunt? Nuts! No. Ben went hunting, not Pika. <laughs> Though, um, if they were to hunt anything, it would probably be electric mice. Because, well, Pikachu, electric... Actually, what? No, that, that, that's almost sound like cannibalism. Electric cheese. Uh, <laughs> like, electric cheese. There we go. For all of us, that sounds like cannibalism. Anyways. <laughs> kind of a tragedy... What kind of a tragic death does a house have to have to come back as a ghost house? Huh? Why do you think that robotic monkey is throwing balls bearing at us? I, I didn't even notice that he was throwing ball bearings, but it's better than the organic version. And Dooley just does not seem to notice. <laughs> well, he noticed, but it doesn't seem to feel it. <clears throat> What's this? Have you seen this pigeon? Okay. Is that pigeon? Oh, hey, fella, do me a favor, would you? What is it? Could you hold this hook for a second? My hand has a cramp and I... <coughs> I need to stretch it out. Yeah, sure. Horror hook? Ah, sucker, that's your murder weapon now. What? And... <laughs> well, crap. Oh, uh, well... <laughs> oh, uh, Captain, I think you made a mistake in chat. Yeah, <laughs> Pika's hunting for cheese now. Oh, the only, the only thing you'll find here are cheesy puns. Yeah, wait, you, you have told Pika that Pika is an actual animal, right? I may have, I may have forgotten, as usual. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I know I told you, then you said you wanted to inform Pika about it. Let me actually do a quick search on that then. <laughs> yeah, I think there was only one picture of a baby one. I know I saw that on YouTube, but there's an animal called, just called Pika. Because I think oh. it's the animal the catcher is based on. Let's see. Pika. And it's part of the mouse family. 
There is the <laughs> Picos here. A pika is a small mountain dwelling mammal native to Asia and North America. Okay, it, lo it looks sort of like a mouse with its big ears. Yeah, and <laughs> Neat. they kind of bounce around. <laughs> That's the responsible thing is to put this into evidence. Yeah, but, and hear me out. Put, but what if you don't? Duly. Okay, hello. <coughs> Prepare to be horrified, mesmerized, possibly even pasteurized. This is the haunted house. Full of ghosts, uh, ghouls, ghosts, the most horrific thing of all, you. That's a little rude. It's a house full of ghosts. We care not for etiquette, etiquette or general basic matters. Wait, hold on. Mirrors, that suit, and... Be I feel like that's a reference to... Oh, I haven't seen a movie where I heard of it. Someone in a mirror house attacking people with the hovering balls of metal with, that had various tools in them. That sounds like cube or something, maybe, or I don't no, know. Not the cube. <laughs> it's just a house's mirror. It's an old one. Okay. Let's find this door. That is a spooky mystery. Ooh. Mysterious doorway. The developers are spooky doorway. Hall of Mirrors. Yep. Actually, let me go back. No. Can't go back that. Okay. Oh man, this place is so crowded. It's gonna take ages to get to the whatever it is we are doing here. Look at those jaw lines. Proper hero jaw lines, those. <laughs> More like freaking Pac Man jaw lines. Back to the lobby? Damn it, there must be, uh, this must be some kind of maze. A spooky maze. This like is with the heebie jeebies. Okay. <laughs> Big torso. My legs and feet were this tiny. Wait. Sorry. If my legs and feet were this tiny, I'd be able to borrow Boss Fancy new basketball gear. Uh. Yep. Hello. Yep. Yes. Can I help you? I think we took a wrong turn. So you're not here on business? No, sorry. <laughs> well, this is the carnival's office. If you're not here on business, then I can't do much to help you. This is a pretty tame office for a place with, friv uh, with frivolous in the title. Think of it as a reverse mullet. Party up front, business in the back. I might grow my hair like that. And also, really? An innuendo? <laughs> like we haven't had those since the very start of this game. <clears throat> Making my glory days as a performer, worked my way up from bearded lady to bearded boss. <laughs> and I do my work back here so nobody disturbs me. Hint, hint, nut, nudge. <laughs> what about the people who get lost in the Hall of Mirrors? Surely that's happening all day long? No, most punters seem to get through to, uh, get through the hall just fine. It's not hard. I'm surprised you, a detective, ended up here. <laughs> what I'm getting at here is here, if you ever if I ever go missing, assign the case to somebody else. <laughs> the collected gathering of books. Predicting the future by Claire Voyance. Upholding the law by Miranda Wrights. <laughs> Surviving a wasp attack by Anna Anaphylactic. Anaphylactic shock. <laughs> uh Yes, Pika, what listen? <clears throat> okay. Uh, Dooley? Is there a Lord Farnival or can I take you out for to dinner? <laughs> okay, that's direct. <laughs> oh, I was like, why did he say Lord and realized, oh yeah, she called herself Lady, so. Okay. Finally, a good lady. Hey. <laughs> Finally, the two legs I always wanted. Oh, there's actually multiple stages. Oh, uh, God. I don't like <laughs> this one. It's cut the sum of me out. What did I even do to it? Oh, actually, the right one. Uh, hello? Uh, what a wonderful place. So many pictures to take. They all look a bit samey here, though. Well, ma'am, this is all I hope. 
Well, ma'am, this is a hall of mirrors. You're just taking selfies. We're a helpful young boy. You must be very proud. He's not... He's not my son. <laughs> oh, we understand. Sorry, a stepfather, stepson bonding day out. How very touching. That's a new one. <laughs> Upside down reflection. Whoa, how is my hat staying on? Yep, I was uh, standing. <laughs> Un achievement, unwanted dinner guest. You interrupt a scary yet romantic dinner. <laughs> okay. I think maybe we should leave them to their romantic dinner. Uh. <coughs> Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and I'm. Michael I'm Myers. Blessed. Yeah, Michael Myers. <laughs> and. Yeah, this this game is full of this sort of shit because <laughs> both Daddy Myers. Okay. Um there let's try this one. Yep, back to the mirror immediately. Yep, uh, hello. Welcome, welcome, Bogarts and Gogarts. Welcome to Monsieur Pompier's traveling freak show, a menagerie of mankind's most magnificent monstrosities. What's happening? I don't know, stay close. Why, every carnival needs a sideshow of things too bizarre to believe, too scary to show, too hideous to handle. But at a home for humanity's most horrendous habitant to hide in, would it even be a carnival? The attractions, suites, and advertisements say yes, but I say no. The Crabbit? Please meet the Crabbit. With the head of a rabbit and the claws of an old crab, he wore a suit that didn't fit and claimed that he looked fab. Come close a little tight. You could put it. You could pet him if you like. I will. I will not like. A shame, but probably for the best. Once you get his psychic his stink on you, he has a tendency to show up in one's dreams. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> There's probably something that we can or have to do here sooner or later. Hmm. Can we use this ladder? Get up to the monkey. Hmm. Need a power source of sorts to power the tunnel of love. Do you think this is a circus? Oh yeah. Hmm. <coughs> okay, who do we give this to though? Maybe him since he's flying on no. So this is planning on bolting. Wait, no. Or... Wait. Oh, not? Really? They're still waiting out here. Hmm. Okay, I might need to look up a, a hint though, since I'm I'm blanking on what to try. I don't I have no real idea of where to get the power source. Is Shingle still out? Yes. Somehow we knocked out a ghost with a, <laughs> a plastic horse head. Wait, what? Yeah, and you called him a demon earlier. He's out, looking, he's out cold and has nothing else in his pockets. Damn, made sure of that. <laughs> oh, dear. Warning, do not feed the criminals. What are you doing here? I thought you worked in the mall. Uh, yeah, we've seen this before. Hmm. I'd have preferred it if you took this guy out and let poor Incent Tobot live. <coughs> and now I'm reminded of Zucosis, which, well, turned out to be quite a disappointment compared to what people were, well, expecting yeah. from the advertising and such. Yeah, like, I still liked it, especially in concept all, I instantly enjoyed watching it. I still need to watch a bit more of it for the other indies and all that. But I would like he would have opened a bit more going on, but apparently the head writer for it sadly died during production. Yeah, but you'd think they'd find they'd get someone else to finish up the writing then or something. Might be but the deadline yeah. thing. <laughs> Maybe if they ever make a sequel or something. Or at the very least the idea is out in the world now for someone else to grab. Yeah, what about us guys we patch it up uh, to add more things to it? Maybe. Now, let's see. Hints. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Combined large blast energy. Okay, Hall of Mirrors. Click the correct mirrors to find the place you're looking for. Yep. Okay, apparently I missed something here. Let's see, wavy. And then wide. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. Long arm. Check out the old, check out the big old monkey arms on you. You have them too. Me? No, my arms are the perfection. But the mirror. Perfection. Okay, that just leads us back here. Uh, there, there, maybe here. What I don't understand is how all these reflections may put us standing closer together. Uh, what? What's going on in here? Also, how did we end up in the second floor? The blasted chicken thinks it can stand up to me? Me? Nikola Tesla, uh, the inventor of electricity? What has it invented? Uh, what has it invented but heartache and misery for the world? Can it even invent eggs? No, it is but a robot, a cold hearted robot. Well, not for long, chicken. One blast of my death ray and you'll be gone. Gone, you hear me? Oh, right. It's an average Tuesday in the, in this freaking city, huh? <clears throat> Nine minutes of that. Nice death ray? Yes, a death ray. My ray of death. Built for, uh, built for and focused on my terrible nemesis. I thought Edison was bad, but this chicken? Oh boy, it's a stinker, that's for sure. I think he has said he has invented death ray, but I'm sure it was ever confirmed. Yeah, that wasn't a time that he was going more than a little mad, so yeah. Yeah, is he? It's an okay death ray, but I seem bigger. What? Where? I can tell you that. You'd be only ruining it by upholding the law. Ugh. Really? <clears throat> anyway, Tesla. You seek an audience with me, the great inventor of electricity? You didn't invent electricity. It's a fundamental force of the universe. You could have, at best, discovered it. No, I invented it. I wrote many different mathematical equations, carved it from chipboards, using a lab in my own once corporeal hands. Is this really the legacy you want to leave? <laughs> my work is so vast and deep, nothing could mark my legacy. It would take some feet so uh, feet, uh, some feet so stupid in scale and concept, it is the work of science fiction to even conceive it. Why, the only scenario I can think of would involve an international supervillain using advanced combustion engines to launch a motorized, you know, a motored conveyance into space all massed under publicity. That feels too specific not to be a reference. And of course it would be best to test the possibility of applying a cabal of you know, the wealth hoarders to the, a new world, leaving the rest of humanity stranded on the husk of an earth they mined to achieve as well. Oh, and all done using my name as branding. But that never happened. Yep. <laughs> Ugh. Elon uh, fucking Musk. Yeah, I was I was feeling are they gonna mention that? I was thinking of mentioning that. <laughs> That's the print that screen. Actually, I'm 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 opening up paint immediately to stash that one away. Because sometimes the you know, sometimes it seems to it, yeah. Sometimes when I print screen something, it seems to lose it sometime later. <clears throat> Why do you hate the chicken so much? Let me answer your question with a question of my own. Do you see a pigeon around here? No. Nope. Precisely. I rest my case. I'm gonna need more. The pigeon, man. The pigeon. Before that robotic abomination turned up, it was always here. And now it's gone, chased off by this foul fowl. No doubt. If I can remove that blasted bird, that soon to be blasted bird, rather, then it may return. So, <clears throat> okay, so that was his pigeon with for the one with the. Have you seen this? Didn't he have something with pigeons at some point in his life? I'm sure. I really like that pigeon. I'm getting that vibe all right. <clears throat> I don't know. He may have, people. Oh, Peter, he may have been having in form of ADHD and other symptoms. <laughs> because. Mostly unknown at the time. Yeah. <clears throat> Why haven't you zapped it yet? 
Do not mock me, sirs. I was about to zap its beak off when some fool overloaded the circus in the circus. <laughs> the circus circuits. As you were. Now I am flummoxed. I need some kind of device that has stored enough electrical energy from before the blackouts. I need a capacitor, gentlemen, if I am to power my death ray and scramble that robo chicken. Uh, you scramble eggs, not chickens. Now I kind of want to try just a dinner with uh, scrambled egg and chicken. Probably with rice. It's actually yeah, tasty, Captain. And I, I have actually, that was about my first experimentation. <laughs> Let's see where this terrifying contraption is aimed. Oh, the, the chicken up top of the... Okay. And the tunnel of love is right next to it. Hmm. We're watching in this person the Ferris wheel, just above the tunnel of love. Okay, so if we can get our, that chicken, we can get him to shoot somewhere else. If our weekly game of police and freeze things has taught me anything, it's that one should always take a rope when entering a dungeon. <laughs> of course those preps... Wait, oh wait, sorry. Of course those perps aren't gonna tie themselves up. You ain't... I was half expecting we'd ring the bell to piss him off. <laughs> okay, hmm. We need something to help get to the top of this thing. Actually, there. If I tie this here, it should work as a makeshift grapple. Okay. Oh, let's just think about that. We saw those two next to each other. <laughs> Up, don't have the range, but we can make. There we uh -oh. go. This should give me more range in the grapple. Grappling oh, no. gun. <laughs> I should be able to fire the grapple further with this. <laughs> there goes nothing. Going nothing was my plan. And there we go. Yep. Okay, up we go. Yay. Okay, one robot chicken. There it is. The robotic chicken tormenting Nikola, Nikola Tesla. One of the greatest minds of human history. You know what they say. You die as a hero or you get turned into a ghost obsessed by cybernetic fowl. Sure, that is a very common saying. What? <coughs> okay, now can we set this thing up? Oh dear. Hmm. I thought they were bad when they were on the ground, but they are even scarier when they are way up high. I've got every decision in my life that leads to me staying up here on this Ferris wheel with no safety precaution, parachute, high, or highly traded safety eagles. <laughs> uh, may maybe he could borrow an eagle from a certain uh, <laughs> blast brigader. Hmm. Okay, so it's just out of our freaking reach. Hmm. Uh, we can always <laughs> use a uh, uh, pinga girl. Let's see if they can shoot with electricity. I think we need this thing sort of alive, quote unquote. <clears throat> hmm. I, I'm, I'm actually going to step away for a minute just to go grab something to drink because my throat is really starting to act up now. And I'm gonna throw some food into the air fryer. Half a bottle of uh, multivitamin drink. <clears throat> okay, let's see. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay, I have no idea how the heck we're supposed to grab this thing, so looking up another hint. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I got better than the water, Pika. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there is wheel top. Mm -hmm. Yes, rope, grappling hook, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, grappling hook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Da -da. Yeah, robot chicken. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Connect. I'm back and now we're not pushing robot chicken. He's ringing at the moment. Okay, uh, yeah, we are missing something. And yeah, we, we, we're not supposed to catch the chicken. We are supposed to... Yeah, he, that's not for sale. A failed experiment. Licorice string of lights. Doesn't work and tastes horrible. I, I, can, I can't give this stuff away. Well, if you're giving it away, I take some. Some? You can have all it. Yeah, you can have it all. There we go. <coughs> okay, then back up. Yep. Yeah. Okay. A long string of copper insulated by licorice for some reason. Because licorice is a better insulator than more copper. Said by a copper. Okay, let's run this wire between this robotic chicken and the love boat. Then when Tesla zaps it with his death ray, it'll charge the boat and we'll be one step nearer to teleporting to wherever Shingles the Clown has taken the missing people. You love this work, don't ya? Wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> See what I mean? That they kind of remind of us too? Yeah. <coughs> Okay, now how the heck do we get a capacitor? There's this thing here. Hmm. It's also the. There's also this one here. Hmm. How exactly are we supposed to. Hmm. Now I need to look up. I, I get the feeling I just keep missing items, and because of that, I keep getting. <coughs> I keep missing out on potential solutions. Uh, ta -da -ta, yeah. Where do we find the capacitor? You know, things. Uh, even though all the power is gone from the carnival, they're still moving objects, uh, like uh, the bear or the duck. Apparently, according to this. Oh wait! Now that we have the ladder, we can climb up there. Yeah, the, the, the bear has its own battery. I suspect the duck maybe as well. They should get me up there. Excuse me, I thought the carnival was having power issues. How is this running so smoothly? Oh, we had a mega capacitor installed. It charges when the power is up, and it runs the duck when the power drops. I think we inspected this thing before, but <laughs> we didn't get that. Uh... Okay, there we go. Test one, two. Okay, don't know what the hell happened. Well, I know what happened, but not exactly how. But apparently my computer specifically lost its connection. And so I just had I had to force a... I had to just restart. And yeah. <laughs> and hello, Pika still. <laughs> Wait, did they bring Frank? Wait, did he just get graded? Uh, don't think so. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, I, hopefully not too much was missed on Ural's end. Uh, yeah, just in case. Okay, okay, let's get this thing. Uh, no chance are you, are you taking that. I stand here all day giving and giving, not once do I get anything in return. Well, no more, I say. No more. Oh. So, yeah, we, we need to get the capacitor out of this thing. Uh, let's see, Pika. I'm playing League with friends and I shared Link. <laughs> Thanks, Pika. <laughs> I hope they'll enjoy the show. Uh, uh, okay, this is what we need the thank you gift for. Uh, talk about League of Legends? Yep. 
<coughs> oh, they want war with us, all right. What's up? All the way to declare war. It's... No, oh, that's so thoughtful. I uh, I got you something in return. It's uh, anything you want from my stall. That's it. Oh, we'll take the duck. Finally, it's mine. <laughs> Duck's capacitor. Duck's capacitor, flux capacitor. <laughs> okay. Uh... Nice one to sneak in there. A box with three you know, small flashing lights to range an inverted Y. A powerful device for just making a duck move. Okay. Now we've got uh, Tesla's capacitor so we can shoot a, <laughs> a robot duck. Close your eyes, Dooley. Since we know the way we're going, yeah, we're gonna edit that part out from now on. Oh man, this is gonna mess with my stack counter. Okay, here you go. Yes, this is what I need. Now we'll fry that stupid chicken. <coughs> uh, you don't have a permit to fire that gun. You'll need my colleague here to shoot it for you. Really? Yes! Ah, fine. Fire away. We need to get into position first. Then get on with it, man. This is why I joined the force. <laughs> Fry that damn chicken. Yep. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I was... I was 100% expecting him to put Dooley in there as well. I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and McQueen joins the extra-dimensional nudist colony. Fox the clown. Ladies and gentlemen, our final contestant for this round is awake. What's going on? Reprisal, revenge, re reciprocation. Humans have taken our beloved adored and cherished even, singles the uh, shingles. Tore him from his family here and so, until he is returned, we're taking your kind and making them run the gauntlet that is. Shingles, <laughs> that is, single circus. <laughs> Wait, we didn't get that. Silence, silence your word hole and prepare your brain lump for the circus. Only the luckiest and uh, the bestiest survive. Okay, at least they all got put into... Is this fucking running man? <laughs> this is I going to be fucking running man. Think so? They seem riled up. Bite his kneecaps. Rubbing into his ancestors. Fill his nostrils with chilies. Oh. <laughs> uh, I can see only. I, now I can see two copies. That one, that one, and that one, and that one. <coughs> no, and here and here, there and there. Oh well. Hey, I know you, kid. <coughs> you performed an exorcism on me. I knew it was you. It was a therapy ghost. I've been real sick since you traded it off. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, if you win some, you lose some. Shingle Circus. What's going on? Where am I? So that's why everyone left their clothes behind. Something about the teleport puts us into these jumpsuits. Disgusting, right? The colors, the materials. I hope a shark eats me. Come right, yeah, it comes right out of nowhere, just eats me up. I'm mortified to be on TV in this getup. It's not on TV, and you are in our dimension. Nobody is going to see you. So I see me. It's the guy who was at the merry-go-round. He looks a little out of it. Oh hey. You're the guy who was at the merry go rounds what are, what are the odds we'd both end up here? I actually came here to save you. Oh, far out. Are we safe now? Not yet. Bummer. Yeah, it's, it's so bright up here. Barrel fires. <laughs> Hell fire, fire barrels. Are you ready to run your little legs off? We'll survive the horrors that await. Can you all make it through, or will we have to kidnap another bunch of you flashy nuisances? Let's say, are you ready to go? Uh, yes. On your marks. Get set. Go. Ah, help me! I got stuck around this in the fall. Stay calm. I'll find the way to get you down. 
It seems like a terrible time to come down. Oh wait, yeah, I understand you now. <laughs> What's this, sports fans? Uh, <laughs> they're not even fully in the circuit and they're already running into difficulty. We might need to wind up the teleporter so we can bribe new victims soon. <laughs> One of those, how strong are you games? Your accompanying hammer? Strong men's hammer could be useful. <laughs> you okay with that, mister? Who? Nope, me? I'm fine. It's as light as a feather. A feather made out of lead. And it's <laughs> a thousand feathers. A hoop? A hoop for lines to jump through. Is there... Is there going to be a line here? Because I would die. <laughs> I would just vibrate with joy until I reach the resonant frequency powerful enough to explode, taking you all out with me. Okay. A whip. No lion tamer's whip. It might, I might be able to use that. Anything else useful? This place seems to be a rundown, dark side version of a uh, of a slash uh, a a slash the circus. Uh, not fully getting what that's for. Uh, let's see. Why not just leave this hang <laughs> hanger on her? No, all of us leave, or none of us leave. And I fear it will be mine. But, no, nine? Nine? Sorry, there was a typo. No, none, I mean none. None of you shall leave. <laughs> okay, now how do we use this to get him down from there? Hold on, I'm working on something. Okay. Well, when you're done working on whatever you're working on, could you try get me down? That's what I'm working on. Oh, great. Because I thought... I thought you were just... gonna leave me up here for a bit. Man, it sounds so silly now. But I thought you were gonna leave me up here while you worked on something else. I don't know what, just like a portfolio site or a recipe for me to good lasagna? I could sure go for some lasagna right now. Maybe you should work on that first? And, uh, you know what? <laughs> You know what you're at. I'll stop being a backseat du du dude still in this dress. It's... You doing okay, kid? Yeah, it could be worse. I could be that guy. I'm so embarrassed that we all turned up wearing in the same outfit. Turned up? We were kidnapped. I don't want excuses. I want solutions. Okay, now how the heck do we get him down? We combine these in some way. A few solid hits should turn this into something that we work with. Okay, reshaped hoop or hook. Okay. I'll just tie that through this, you know, yeah, this through this, and I have a hooky witty thing. Okay. We made ourselves a makeshift. I don't even know what to call this. Can we use that on him? No. Hmm. Okay, we need to connect that with something to maybe get him to... No. Oh, have to him. Oh, there. Okay, grab onto this. Yeah, there we That's go. Him. Whoa, intense. Uh, I'm not done with you yet. Release the hunter. Uh, well, <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't know, but it seems to have broken this platform free. Quickly pedal away from it. Is that thing gone? Think so? Where are we now? Okay, an old sign. Oh man, it's the carnival sign. We must be outside, hooray! Sorry to burst your bubble, friend, but we're a long way from home. Oh man. And hello, Rum! Hey, Rum, how are you doing today? <laughs> and Jess, Iron. how are you both doing? Hello, yes! <laughs> Yeah, welcome aboard, Rom. Uh, yeah, we're playing some dark side detective and fumble in the dark. And basically, we've been put into a point and click version of the Running Man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that a large screen. Yeah, Another big screen. Yeah, big screen. I wonder if this comes off. It, okay, box cover and a big button. I guess we press this. Yeah, they pushed the buttons, folk. Those idiots. Say hello to my little friends. Yep. Oh, great. 
Well, things have certainly gotten worse. Great. You're not going into... Oh my god, you are gross. The large L. Today's terrible situation is brought of yours by the letter L. <laughs> well, why, why don't we hand this L over to the fucking clown and <laughs> call this a day? Uh, I don't think we should get near those things. I think it's done its damage. Nobody survives the dreaded eel room. Okay, better than the alternative, I guess. Right. Large to box. Captain. It was called Tentacle, and he said the eel room. He's called. I just realized the clown's called Pox the Clown. Yep. Yes. <laughs> and. We're, we're all in this because apparently one of uh, them, uh, one of uh, the other clowns, Shingles the Clown, ended up in the real world. And they've basically been kidnapping people from the real world to hold hostage until Shingles is returned. Even though he managed to get his own ass stuck in the real world. We get uh... You kidnapped Shingles! Shingles has his leg broken because the dumbass walked out of your world. Actually, what actually happens is that we knocked him the fuck out and put him in a prison cell. <laughs> in a, in clown courts. Yeah, you should probably tell him what you knocked him out with. Yeah, a plastic a, pony head. I got a different idea. Uh oh. Uh, try using the L on the spotlight. Can't reach it. Okay, maybe we can get one of these to hold it. I need you to give me a boost. I'm so frail, mister. You know, from the time you you lot expelled my helper ghost. I mean, I need you a lot to hold this box steady. Okay. <clears throat> now to knock this light around, like a luminous pinata. Wait, why are you... Yep. Oh, okay, they... <laughs> Damn eels. <laughs> they take what's lit up as their target. Ah. <laughs> Holding up okay? Yeah, man, I'm seeing some whack stuff. I think it might be time to get my... I think it might be time to go clean. <laughs> I think this is the one time you want to be high as all hell, hippie. Oh, dear. Boy, I sure wish I was still possessed. I could just have old ghosty fly out our asses out of here. I know you're trying to make me feel bad, but statistically 100% of possessions aren't good for you. But even it's the theme of this place. It's like they took a bunch of design brochures, set fire to them, and decorated based on the results. Let's get out of here. What the? That wasn't land. It's a conveyor belt. And because they can't move when on screen, they're stuck. Uh, oh, uh, hello there. Bro, <laughs> my hunter has you now. Can't break free. I'm feeling a tightness in the chest. Is this an anxiety attack? Don't feel bad. You get a good, you had a good run. Now take a deep breath and get in the box. <laughs> yep. Oh, great. Mister, I think I made an accident. Everything's all wet. Okay, we've just been dropped in some water inside of a box that's filling up. Now I've made the accident. Okay, and we're all tied up. A nail? A loose nail. I can just reach it. And keep us in suspense. If you can, if you can just reach it, what? One loose nail. Nail I put under this box we in. Can we use that to... Really? Can't reach them while I'm still tied up. I turn your own restraints first. Yep. Oh. That's actually the first time we've been able to use something on ourselves, I think. We just need to pick up these ropes for a bit. And I'm out. Okay, hey, now tear everybody else off. If you're out in the jiffy, I'm already in some rope in a box and some slime. I don't know what a jiffy is, and I don't think I want to be in one as well as everything else. Oh, the water is actually rising. Stay still, I have to cut you out, then ruin my clothes. Your prisoner issue jumpsuits? Whatever, I just don't tear it. I want to look good when I'm on camera next. You were complaining about it earlier. Sit still. So 
So I get about his head in her heart to not shake when somebody comes at you with a rusty nail, you know? Okay, okay swim over everyone. What? Yeah, go come the fuck on! Well, the good news is we don't have to swim that high. Are we? Are we dead? No. Oh, one sec. Who did hell? There, lights on. That's better. Welcome Why to. Why is this a lemon? <laughs> Welcome to Fish Belly Lab. Because it's lab, you see, in a fish's belly. Get it? Are you just sitting in, in here in the dark, in the dark by yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> a moment. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Yes. Uh, wait, how do you know Dooley? Dooley? Is that his name? Dooley, huh. Yes. It feels right on my tongue. That man changed my life. Flashback. You know what? Except your time. <laughs> I've dropped all the files that I was carrying in a precarious pile for some inexplicable reason. Hey there, let me help you with yeah. that. <laughs> That's Rakir's job. Rakir, are you still yeah, here? Yeah, he's not here, apparently. <laughs> I was <Okay>. showing! <laughs> well, I'm going to town to that as a line anyways. You? You do that for me? You kind pure soul. One day I serve we pay this debt. Uh, all right. Ever since that day I've owed him a debt you know, that I you know, didn't know how to repay. When I saw more people like him, like you, on the circus, the leggers, I called him, I hoped that one, um, you know, that one of you could lead me to him. I quickly built this machine and came looking for you in the stadium. And since you know, since you know him, I think it was right to. For context, uh, <laughs> McQueen's partner duly got stuck in the, the dark sides. What this place is for full freaking years, <laughs> for a full freaking year. Let's see. It's pitch black out here. I can't see a thing. That's not dark. That's uh, that's a squawkin looking back at you. Oh. <laughs> it blinked. Oh, great idea. Maybe you can work out the coordinates for the lost sector? Okay. Just turn the dials to the coordinates you think the main frame is, and we'll head straight over. Okay, I feel good about this. The coordinates are... I have no five bloody four. clue. 5451. Five, five, <laughs> okay, not that kind of game, but we can try it. There goes nothing. And... Are we just going to straight round straight in there? I'm actually surprised we stopped. No, this isn't it. We need to keep looking. <laughs> Would have been hilarious if they did put something in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I know that um, you say to the beast long enough, the beast stares back, but the I think it was a bit ridiculous. <laughs> is this game ridiculous? Is the baseline? Uh, I mean, we're playing, playing as a, I mean, we're playing as a parody of Mulder from the X Files. Uh, one more place I need. I just need to work out the coordinates. Main stage. Uh, seven six nine two. Okay, I think I see where this is going. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Not seeing a six. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, there's no one with the first as the one. So I'm guessing that's going to be the fir <coughs> four, <coughs> the first coordinate. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And we have what? an eight, but also a ninth. Hmm. Let's actually pull back yeah. a bit. Oh, yeah, that's my Sudoku yeah, graveyard. I'm trying to get better, but my pattern spotting is just way off. It's just decorative lights. None of it does anything. Wait. What we do? The fossil is a Sudoku. Yep. 
<clears throat> Welcome aboard, new friends. Thanks for saving us back there. It was my duty. I have a debt to pay. I, I say while staring solemnly into the distance. Did you just narrate your actions? No, of course not. I said sheepishly. <laughs> it's like a freaking Elcor from Mass Effect. What is this place? The fish belly lab? I built it earlier today when I saw humans on the show. You built all this in a bloody day. Now you react Listen. to that? You only just realized that. Now, I, I thought he'd been doing it. He, I thought he'd been. <laughs> he'd done this earlier. But apparently not. I knew the fastest way to navigate the circus was by water. And that the mainframe would likely be down here too. How did you find us? I've been searching this place for hours, looking for the mainframe. Once I saw you in the workshop, I knew where where, you know, where he'd throw you, you know, once you were caught. I just sort of hung around there and waited for a splash. Well, thank you, I'm not sure we'd have made it out without your help. For sure. The gorilla, the gorilla puss swims here in these waters. Only a matter of time before it got you. Again, thanks. Now what? I don't believe you know, that you guys kidnapped Shingles. I think something untoward is going on. I want to find the mainframe and check for footage of his disappearance. As you can see from my map, I've checked all segments for the mainframe bar 1. Can't find it. If we can figure out its coordinates, we can put them into the lab's computer and go there uh, <coughs> and go there to investigate. <coughs> I've never been any good with numbers. Bingo, Shidoku, counting. Can't do any of it. This all sounds like a plan from the IT department, but it's the only lead we have, so let's give it a shot. Um, you keep mentioning you a mainframe? Be, will you need to be good at some kind of math to build all this? Probably, but this is the dark side where basically everything is not really flipped, but twisted. So I guess in this world you have to be bad at math to be a scientist? <laughs> oh, I explain it. The mainframe stores all the teledata from the circus, every camera. Here we can trace Shingle, uh, uh, Shingle's uh, final steps and learn what really happened. To him, I mean, in case that wasn't clear. Bit of a typo, as, as is supposed to be in front, because the name is Shingles, not Shingle. Yeah. If we can hack that mainframe, we can clear your names. Unless you are guilty, which is something I had not thought about until now. Anyway, let's get to it. Take care. Let the river ape loose on the ship earlier to air the place out. They're very violent creatures, it was not a great idea, to be honest. Try not to look it in the eye. <coughs> oh man, my skin's got ruined. Wait, you were a cop, right? What I meant was that skin, skingular and sagging, uh, was ruined. And nothing else. Uh, is smoking paper. <coughs> I slung it in my hair, my nether is in my soul. I doubt I'll ever be clean again. Too much information. You okay, kids? Sure, I got used to being covered in extra slime when I was possessed. This was you know, this was Charles playing. No Chucky involved, luckily. Uh, let's see. No, so I'm guessing it's the blank spot. Yeah, but we need to figure out the coordinates for it. Try hmm. try three twenty four and then just move slightly to the to the right. Nah, uh, this is this works. This works in the Sudoku way, I think. So I'm just going oh, to good. pull out a bit I've, of... I've a, pu a puzzle based on, a on something I've never played in my life. Same. Uh, I, I don't even know the rules of Sudoku. Basically, you've got to fit all the letters in place, but they, they can't be the same, of, uh, the same letter in a line up or down. Now, I'm not sure if it works diagonally. I'm going to presume it does. Hmm. So we got seven, four, three. Let, do they mean numbers? Uh, yeah, numbers, yeah. Nine, one, two. Yeah, letters would be something else. Four, three, eight. Two, five, six. Not too sure if that's one and the six, eight, five are going to be much use. Eight, nine, one. Three, two, four. Actually, they might be of use for <clears throat> for calculating the coordinates of the main stage, which we could then use to eliminate other numbers that could go here. 
Okay, let's see them. Uh, it, is, it is actually just one big Sudoku thing. Uh, let's see. So the numbers we're looking at, or what we want, they don't involve a 9, a 1, or a 2. So, and we just Mark, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh. Hey, Marco, it has the possibility of 1, 2, 5, 6, 9. There's, there's 1 and 2 and 9 above, so it can't be that. Uh, give me a moment to calculate this myself. Uh, 8, 9. Okay, it's not 1, it's not, it doesn't have a 2. It does not. Actually, no. Um. But I need to put a, a few extra lines with this. Uh, let's see. Let's use one square each. Four. And draw one line there. Six, eight, five. Oh, one other thing with Sudoku. Since each section is a three by three square, uh, <clears throat> you can't have more of the same number within each of those three by three areas as well. So, what? nine, one, two. So yeah, if you'll notice the top line, it has no repeating numbers. And okay, and then we have four, three, eight. Uh, two, five, six over there. Eight, nine, one. And yeah, looking at, there's no repeats here either. Then we have three two four let's see the middle line is lacking a one two three four five six seven and nine it can have <clears throat> it also lacks though those aren't important for this so for the last for the three that we're looking at <clears throat> let's see it can't be there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, but in what order do they go then? One, six, seven. Yeah, because, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and we just need to figure out the order. <laughs> Let's see, why don't we just try them flat out like this? Oh, <laughs> straight up apparently, okay. <clears throat> and Mark was right, and I think I counted this wrong. <laughs> Mark, Marco got it, Marco got, I, I think it might have gone with any combination of 5, 6 and 7. We got it, now let's hack this son of a glitch. I get to, how do I do that? You need to get in, uh, to the mainframe's database. You'll be fine, just avoid the firewalls. Or else. Okay. It's Pac Man? Uh, uh, oh! Okay, I, I was looking over here. No, no, I, I hit a firewall. I'm being booted out of the system. <laughs> there we go. Beep. There. Step. Ooh. Hmm. That one's going to be a bit tricky to get by. Hmm. Did you really just go back as it was going down? There. Hmm. And we can't move from here without touching. Hmm. Oh, I get it. They move when you move. Yep. <laughs> and Ron reminded me it was super hot. Now, time moves only when you move. There's a game that I learned of recently that I sort of... There, there we go, just gotta bolt it straight through. 
that sort of does uh, super hot but combines with Assassin's Creed somewhat, Shadwin. I hmm. may I may take a look at streaming that at one point or another. Do you know there's a super hot mod for Quake? <laughs> okay, I know now. Okay, gods. What the heck? Nope, I did not see that one moving there. I'm, I'm okay with them giving us uh, mean games like this, but... Come on! Really? <coughs> what the heck? The sun now arrives? Am I going down now? Hmm. Try not getting eaten. Uh, first tentacle eels, and now it is. There we go, I'm in. Hackers Creek. So, now what? I guess we look for something useful? I never thought this far ahead, to be honest. <laughs> I see someone recognized <laughs> right away. A certain green one. There's like yeah. three green ones. <laughs> Long or... uh, all, all of them green. Oh, hell, Nessie. Have you seen this monster? He's wanted for questioning by the government. Well, I'll be. If we met them in the last game. Would you haunt this house? It, it is a great resource for pedalist ghosts. Everything is fine. All is as it should be. The president of, the not, president America. of not America. <laughs> Our honorable opponent says everything is fine in not America, but I say everything would be more fine if on the water. He is surrounded the by fire. There is no fire on the water. Under the sweet, cold, and dark embrace of the dark of the deep, road kraken. <laughs> Please uh, don't I guess die on stream. It would be very awkward. I, I think Barney got arrested for something. <laughs> is your home on fire? Is the number one source for all the fire happening in your house news? Is your home on fire? Let's find out. Yes. Hooray. Oh, wait. Boo. Angel Nick Scream. I know that guy. We're friends. Fellas agents, does your difficult task in the bright side division leave if you much time for friends? What is a friend but a liability? A drain on one's time and focus. A dangerous thing in any job. Uh, yeah, the thing with the dark side is it has reflections of everyone. And yeah, this is McQueen's. <laughs> Who is, well, very obtuse with his way of speaking. We're more work friends. What about work friends, at least? <laughs> no. Acquaintances? <laughs> Awkward. I wonder what Barney got arrested for. Are you a celebrity is a favorite of mine. The question on everyone's lips. Are you a celebrity? No, uh, no, no, I'm not. Here we have it, viewers. Another citizen interviewed another celebrity not yet discovered. <laughs> Quality viewing. And somehow it's still better than most of cable TV. <laughs> Grey Box Blue Box is a show in which a lady points at some boxes and tells you whether they are green or blue. Sounds good. But Familiar. no, it doesn't. It sounds rubbish. It is, however, very... <laughs> however, oddly very good. <laughs> Moonball is a lot oh, like your American right. football, but with less oxygen, gravity, or surviving. All oh, right, I forgot. If you want to get <laughs> all of the pure games on Steam, they're at a discount because spooky season. Okay. Like the whole Steam franchise. Like the whole <laughs> I'll take a look. Hang on, let me. Okay. Hmm. That's that. Uh, Topless Man Dance is one of the most popular shows here. It's in every hour of the day. You can tell he's getting really tired in their more recent seasons, though. Give the man a fucking smoke break. How to Fight a Turkey is the city's most viewed PSA broadcast. Let's skip over the obvious one. When asked on his pre predecessor's whereabouts, new mayor Jonathan Blackteeth pointed to a glowing door and said, She's over there. It's what? at a 90% discount. Mm. From the producers of Everplane Jungle, Cloud Combat, and Sky Occurrences comes Action Plane, 
The thrilling story of a man is playing in the land-based organization trying to keep them apart. <laughs> Being forcibly you know, projected into your dreams this spring. Is that the why I keep getting weird dreams that make no sense? Maybe. Have you seen this shape? It's one of our, you know, our favorites. And uh, fun. Uh, what a cute little fellow. The sock puppet strangler is wanted for 14 murders. If you see him, you are advised to stay away as he is armed and dangerous. Get it? Armed? Because he's a puppet and has an arm in him? See? Brilliant. Anyway, he's an extremely dangerous individual and should be awarded by all costs. I'm guessing that's the Barney looking one. Because yeah. I kind of missed it for th yeah. Yeah, I guess it was Anyway, not let's go for the one that looks like it's actually plot related rather than satire. It looks like a video of Pox and Shingles arguing. But the viewing numbers are falling, Shingles. We have to do something. I know that, but kidnapping humans and making them run the gauntlet in place of Darkseid has seemed... It's just, it's just too much, brother. I didn't need your permission. Maybe I'll do it anyway. I won't allow it. You won't, you, you won't have a choice. This is the stuff. We have him now. Let's upload it. Yep. Just oh. uploading it to every single <laughs> computer on the dark side. We found a video. Let's upload it to the main feed. So much for uh, what you say uh, means nothing to me. It also sounds meaningless. I read a dummy's guide to hackology and I think I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I really don't know, but I think so, I do. Uh, this is going to be awkward for him. They've gone off the grid, but we'll find them soon, fans. Where could they have got... What? What is this? The viewing numbers are falling, Shingles. We have to do them. Then I'm going to do them. Somebody cut the feed. I don't need your permission. Maybe I'll do it anyway. I won't allow it. You won't have a choice. What is that? It's a teleporter. I told you I didn't need your permission. I've already built it and captured the first one of humans. You've gone too far, Pox. Send them home and let's get back to tonight's show. Maybe I'll send you back instead. What? I'm not from there. You can't send me back. I know that. I was being... Uh, what's the word? Dramatic? Yes, dramatic. Thanks. That would have annoyed me for ages. Anyway, enjoy the human world, Shingles. <laughs> No. And thus, Shingles was teleported. Well, uh, I think we're about to see a clown get lynched. Lynch the like. clown! Lynch the clown! Fox? Mummy? Oh dear. Fox the clown, did you put your brother through an interdimensional wormhole again? <laughs> Again? This happens more than once? <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty funny with the sound effect. It was like a ghost boo, but it was actually booing. Wait, wait, who is this? That's clever. What name is that typo? <laughs> yes, mummy. Sorry, mummy. No, she's a mom who's a mummy. A, a mommy who's a mummy. Now I kind of want to see a... Just a mummy clown, as in the no. wrapped up what kinds. No! <laughs> just with a pharaoh's mask, but instead of like a dignified look, it just... <laughs> it's just <laughs> clown makeup in gold. <laughs> no, I have already seen that. Like it for Walter Mellon. <laughs> Walter <did> Mellon? <laughs> uh, that's a show I didn't really expect anyone else to mention, Walter Mellon. <clears throat> oh, you naughty boy. I don't care what it takes. Get him back this instant. Yes, mummy. So, uh, sorry for everything. No hard feelings. We're still Fuck lynching you. you. <laughs> very, very hard feelings, actually. <laughs> Whatever. Holding on to grudges gives you wrinkles. Now, if I send you home, can I have my brother back? Sure, he hasn't done anything wrong, I guess. Nice one. Well, get ready to be teleported. Wait, mystery man. We never... I never got your name. Oh, it's... Rex oh, McKay. <laughs> oh, gosh, they're gone. Where do we get the feeling that's supposed to be... Look that's supposed to be important. Yeah, McKay, McQueen. Yeah. It's 
<laughs> it's his ghost father, isn't it? No, no, no. Probably. No, no. One of McQueen's rivals is named McKing. Um, I'm not in New York. <laughs> no, yeah, because everyone, not not like an exact opposite, but this is the this is the opposite of his <laughs> of his nemesis, <laughs> which is actually helpful in the dark side. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Marco, he did it in the first game, the blonde guy. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's McKings. Okay, that, that is a clever one. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I want my brother back in time for dinner, or else Mummy won't throw a pie in my face for dessert. Uh, I think they're saying Mummy because it's supposed to, they're supposed to be British-ish, I think. Also, just... <laughs> elderly clown vibing. Vax is Lennon for king. Your name yeah, means King McKing. That's stupid. Aww. Better name than King... Actually, I think King McRex would be a much better name. <laughs> then you twist it, locks it, pop right off. Usually information to own. So that's what I was doing wrong. I, I think... I think, uh... I think Tam just sets Dooley up for watching the lockpicking lawyer for the rest of his life. Good to know, good to know if I am to live this life of crime. The best bit is that crime's not even illegal here. I'm not sure that's... I mean, I'm really not sure. Maybe that's true? Dooley, you're supposed to be a police officer. Okay, did they... Did they nope, they did not bring his clothes along. Well, our pants are gone. Hey, Dooley. If you want to live, come with me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think it's... I need your boot, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's my turn not to read. Ah, sneak up on me like that, detective. Shingles, you're free to go. Really? I'm a free man? Yes, I can taste it in the air. I hope being inside didn't chase me too much. I hope I can reacclimatize the life on the outside. You've been in there for like five minutes. <laughs> you were there for like for half like an hour. For half an hour. hour. <laughs> and it was cloud jail. <laughs> Time moves differently on the inside. Before You're you still go. In the <laughs> Uh, before you go, I have one last question. If you're innocent of the teleporting and we're, uh, we're sent here against your will, why did you pop into existence shouting, It's me, Shingles? Oh, it's like my catchphrase. You know? It's me, Shingles. Yay! It's that sort of thing. Tommy always said you gotta make a good first impression. I don't... You might want to change your clown name then. Actually, yeah. your legal name, since <laughs> Shingles the Clown seems to be your first, middle, and last name. <laughs> Anyway, time for me to go. See you clowns in the future. And he tell and he just disappears. Like it's a reverse <laughs> version of the Terminator future time travel thing. <coughs> oh, that's that problem fixed. Thank goodness, I'm pooped. You're pooped? You were Let us hear it for Officer Dooley who saved the day, hip hip, etc. <laughs> I could have done it without your help, Detective. Come on, let's get some lunch. Let's see, Marco. It's up close. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm half expecting them not to mention it at all and they just walk off. <laughs> uh, Marco, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <clears throat> yeah, uh, come with me if you want to live. It's from Terminator 2, I believe. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen any of them in full. Hmm. Actually, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle is also from Terminator 2. Okay. Sure. Oh, wait, do you remember helping a guy in the city when you were over there? Detective, if I had a die for every guy I saved in the city, I have no idea how much money I did have because I lost my wallet on the way over there. Also, unrelated, lunch is on you. How, so, how are you gonna have lunch? He has no pants. Yeah. Oh well, let's get out of here. Did Tam get out too? Afraid not, Tam. 
According to the section 4B.3 paragraph X, stealing a kid's candy is a worse crime than teleporting a load of citizens out and making them run a spooky gauntlet. <laughs> Damn things that's oddly specific and unbalanced by law, but the law is the law. It is, Tam, it is. <laughs> Just no, nobody mentions... Nobody... Mulder has no pants on. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Next case, Royal Fumble. Dula wanted me to meet him at the wrestling event in town. The Ew. Is that what it's called, or is that just his reaction? I think that's supposed <laughs> to be what it's called. You know, like the WWE? Yep. <laughs> okay, that's a good one, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, this is where Dooley told me to meet him. I wonder what he wants to show me. I better go look for him. And the lights flickering on the... Yeah. <laughs> so it's just the WWW. <laughs> yeah. You have your ticket. What more do you want from me? I was just going to ask if you saw my friend. He's usually dressed like a cop. I ain't seen nobody dressed like a cop. I've did you seen see someone cop? who was a cop then? No. Why did you say like then and not just like... Like or just like, this has become a confusing and weirdly labored moment. Yeah, I'm just going because to go find Because sometimes a weirdo shows up in a stripper cop uniform and just... I roll with it. Or, I want to think like they did the, boo the take the booth guy, woman or whatever they... It's hard to know in this case. A bit weird. It looks like they have a... It looks like they have a sensor board on the chest or something. No, that's the... <clears throat> that's uh, the, the opening through which you hand cash and tickets and such. He's because you know, behind glass that's being very brightly lit. Yeah, but you still see what I'm meaning. It kind of looks odd. Upcoming events. You presents Mage in a Cage. <laughs> I recognize both of them. Those are references. Simon the Sorcerer and Rincewind. And... Yes. <laughs> or was it Rincewood? I think it was Wind. I, I may... I may pick up those games for streaming sometime, uh, but I am definitely bringing along a guide because, yeah, <laughs> from what I remember of seeing people who played through them or at least summarized them for reviews, there's just some real, well, moon logic would be an understatement. It would be Saturn's moon logic. Is, anyway. is, is this this? The guy's working on a mod that makes the pulse rifle from aliens. <coughs> now in the in, it, in Doom, in, I presume. Uh, fall, in Fallout, in Fallout New Vegas. Okay. Let's see the EU, the entertaining world of wonderful wrestling. Is that the Where reason why it? Mage in a Cage is a thing? <laughs> <laughs> probably they, they they probably work more of gimmicks here than anything else. And, it's, and now I'm just now I'm just picturing like <laughs> now I'm just picturing uh, two skinny looking mages entering the cage and then on cue they both throw off their you know, capes and it's just fucking Hercules underneath both of them. I think that's a thing. There's everything here from t-shirts to other t-shirts. Uh, give me a break. Diversifying merch is tough. Lots of places have minimum orders, and I don't want to be left with a bedroom full of 500 neoprene beer holders with you printed on them. <laughs> you isn't exactly the most appealing thing to have on the side of your drink, you know? Yeah, they should have done a better acronym. Want to use towel? It's got 100% legitimate wrestler sweat on it. Yeah, no, who'd want that? Hey, that's my biggest earner. <laughs> Okay, random fact. That actually was a thing in Rome. They would sell you bottles of gladiator sweat. But apparently it was good for... Claimed to be good for... A lot of things, including fertility help. At least it's not gamer girl bathwater. Wanna buy some merchandise? Eh? Eh? No thanks, I spent my last bit of cash getting in here. Now you're gonna regret that in three to five puzzles. 
Uh, wait, hold on. Heal, heal, hold on, hold on. Game girl, bad for for Okay, th that sounds just desperate and nasty, but drinking sweat over sounds somehow a bit worse. Yeah, but Gamer Girl Bath what it was actually a thing for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, that's what I just say, desperate. <laughs> uh, once in three I'm glasses? Make, I mean, I'm desperate for companionship, but I'm not stupid and or crazy enough to buy Gamer Bath Water. <clears throat> I just want someone. That's it. Once in three glasses? Makes you feel like the fight is happening right before your eyes. But the fight happens here. Dude, they're free. Do you want them or not? <laughs> the one free uh, thing. Three glasses. <laughs> uh, uh, are those kind of pretty glasses being used? Uh, don't think so. Do you, do you have the more advanced things with polarized glass or something these days? But let's be honest, this image is never going to die because it's just quintessential yeah. 80s. Yeah. We're putting on the 3D glasses. Yeah, I, I remember I liked them as a kid, but later, still doing the same here, learning about them, I realized quickly, they kind of uh, suck. Oh, I, I can already see where this is going. Oh no. The, the bar brawl, no brawling, please. Uh, and for people who know what I mean, the durability of many of those 3D glasses, or car <laughs> cardboard, yeah, they did not last long. Okay, I, I know this guy is a reference to someone, but I'm blanking on their blasted name. I... I hope not. <laughs> no, that's not Hulk Hogan. There was once... There was another wrestler who, whose thing was purple headbands, I think. But... Let's see. Photos of the wrestlers here. One of them is a bit loose. Yep. Yoink. Well, now I feel underdressed. Uh, I'm overdressed, I admit it, but hey, I want to make an impression on my all-time fave wrestler, Lounging Lou. Why? Lounging Lou. You're dressed... You're not... Di Disco is dead, man. Okay, I'm 90% sure this guy is a reference to Disco Stu, but I don't remember if, if there was a Simpsons character or... I think it's, it's Simpsons, Simpsons character. character. <laughs> so yeah, I want an autograph... Yeah, I want an autograph from... Jip... Uh, Japan? She's astonishing, but I'm not taking I'm not the kind of guy to brag. My plan is when she sees my <laughs> the, the bag. Eh? When I is when she sees my Raza Matas and Swagger, she will come up to me looking for my autograph. I'll offer to swap and hey Presto, I got it. That's certainly a plan. I, Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to practicing. I think that's the picture you got. For that's a uh... <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Can we muck up with this dancing? Smooth. Thanks, I want my moves to be as velvety as, well, velvet, I guess. <laughs> huh. Nice and easy for jamming along, too. You were too beautiful, girl I saw alone at the bar. Alone at the bar on purpose. You are too beautiful, girl I saw alone at the bar on purpose, waiting for a man like me to come along. No, that's not... Baby go, Ralphie is singing you a song. Cynthia's about to smack a bit. He's uh, about to smack yeah. his ass off. Uh, uh, here's the thing. Either she will or he. <laughs> Doesn't work. It's just you know, for when fights spill out into the lounge and the wrestlers need something to brain one another off. <laughs> Look, I didn't pay for lounge access to listen to you sing. I just want to watch the match in peace. Uh, you're so funny. Hey, let me play you a song about how funny, good-looking, and overall great you are. She is going to shove that guitar down his throat. Yeah, it's... Probably. Yeah, I would say that. He, he's coming on too hard. Let me take that out of context. <laughs> what top shelf stuff do you have to get? We call them top rope, not top shelf. It's informatic. I see. Very good. But what top shit, top rope stuff have you got? No idea. Neck muscles are too thick. I can't turn my head to look. Okay, he might be a reference to <laughs> a certain jackass. Yep. <clears> oh, <throat> there, Barkeep. This is a sports bar, not a Ren Fair. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. I got carried away. That's because you are small and easy to pick up. Look at me, I never get carried away. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, dear. What? 
<laughs> it seems to be showing an even lower resolution version of the ring. Yeah, I think, I want to see it here. I'm surprised they've had so much pixel detail with the photo. Perhaps. We have protein shakes on tap. Red flavor, blue flavor, and purple over there. Ew. What are the actual flavors? Strawberry, blueberry, and grape? Red, blue, and purple, like I said. Okay. Make love, not war? I misunderstood the nature of this gathering when I was making my son. <laughs> Detective? I'm surprised to see you here. I'm surprised you're here too. Oh, I never miss a chance to watch all the men fight in their pants. Let me explain some of the stuff I heard about the parties you throw. Parties you throw and don't invite me to. Sorry, Detective, they're for select friends. You're right, though, I should throw something vanilla and bring you along. But it. Oh, the next match is starting. Kill him! Peel his face off his entire actual face. And that's our radio operator at, <laughs> at the precinct. I'm here to support my favorite wrestler, Ricky Redhand. He slapped so many people that his hands swelled up and went all red. Horrible infection. Had to have it removed. My absolute hero. So... Uh... Is that maybe a reference to Silver Hands? Indirectly? Is that... Is that Dooley in the ring? Yep. I could have guessed from this... The pictures they hung you around. <coughs> and of course fucking Dick Brickman is here. That's one hell of a Jumbotron. Is there such a thing as non-Jumbo Jumbotron? Like a regular Ultron? Yeah, but then you get uh, copyright sued. Sports shorts, sports shorts, sports shorts. They seem to be streaming along to the text on the screen. I thought it said sports, sports. We're going to have to get them chanting something. <clears throat> Main commentator? Get out of the way, you know, you jabroni. I can't see through you. What's, the, uh, what's this jabroni's deal? Walking around the place thinking he's made of glass. Look at these guys railing on each other. I'd buy that for a dollar. Uh, look at his name. With them two <laughs> Jeez, it all comes down to cash with you in the end, doesn't it? Jimmy the crotch. It comes down to cash with everyone in the end. Everyone's got a price. Manager. Are you his manager? Who? Aldulio? Aldulio doesn't have a manager. Says he's a free bird, or at the very least a reasonably priced from Price Dragon. <laughs> so he managed the other guy. Nah. Connor the Cranium Higgins. So who do you manage? Why are you here? I just like giving pep talks to whoever needs them. For example, you got this detective, I believe in you. I said I'm ready to take on the world. You're welcome, now get him, get him, tiger. <laughs> okay, Dooley, what the hell? Dooley, is that you? It looks like El Dulio has his foe on the ropes. El Dulio? Surrender now, me Surrender. amigo, and El Dulio. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got carried away. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can... Oh, yeah, yeah. You both have heard my Spanish accent, how horrible it is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I, you know what? I'm not going to do that accent since it's horrible. Otherwise, I would have to throw it over to... Ro Actually, I don't even know if Robin can do that accent. What sort of accent? Mexican. <laughs> I don't think... I can't do Mexican. Uh, if yeah. you want, you can try these lines, Siram. Uh, surrender now, mi amigo, and El Dulio shall show you leniency. You know, way I'm... better than me. <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, the overgiver, the undertaker, overgiver. No, I won't be defeated. Not again, not today. Today is my day to shine. Ramo, blamo, thank you, mamo. Uh, hey, look, a demon uh, for wrestling. Uh, Give me the crotch. Yeah. A wild sidekick has appeared. $902 man. <laughs> Looks like the ref is getting involved. 2 on 1. No fair. Match postponed until El Dulio has a partner. <laughs> Get whoever you like, El Dulio. You can't defeat my partner straight from the ninth <laughs> squared circle of hail. <laughs> See you for the match later, El Lucio. Nick Brickman's sports shorts. 
They didn't approve of last minute ill prepared demonic appearances. Somebody could get hurt. No, really? Julie, what mess have you gotten into this time? I don't know. Do I know you, senor? <laughs> yeah, uh, I will let Rome do uh, El Dulio here. I cannot do this. Rome, the stage is yours. <laughs> yeah. Now is not the time for this. That guy clearly summoned a demon, and we are in the business of defeating demons. Mm, yes, El Dulio is also in the business of defeating this demon. Perhaps we should team up to rid the ring of this vile rival. Yeah. Fine. Stay in character. We might be able to find more info on the summoner if we go backstage. Come on. Yes, backstage. Come on. No, you come on. Come with me, I insist. Look, I'm in character here. You're coming with me. I, I, I'm in charge here. I, I almost, I almost misread that as I'm the main character here. You're coming with me. Let's go. Yes, let's go. With me going first, then you going second. Come in with me, if you will. Look, we don't have time for this. Let's just go at the same time. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. That is Matt? impressive hair. Uh, sadly, it's a wig. You see the hair on some of these wrestlers? Now that's impressive. I bet they have teams of hairdressers backstage to get them looking right. Uh, what's that you're drinking? Loop. It's made of 132% sugar. That kid's gonna be. That kid's gonna be like frying <laughs> drama when he was like at a hundred and <laughs> cups of coffee. Yeah. And I just noticed a small little detail there. You can actually see snips coming through the straw. Detail. Ah, wrestlers. Down my ears. Oh, sorry. It's it carried away. When I grow up, I want to be just like these people. When you grow up, eh? Well, you never get old. You're never too old to have dreams and goals. Good luck with it. Thanks. No, thanks. Oops, I mean thanks. Okay, backstage. Wait, grow up. Yep. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh, oh, we can't go back there. Yeah, let's see. El Dulio knows you, madame. You are the ninth wonder of the digital world? Yes? Yep, just gotta kill off the L-shaped Tetris block to jump up to H place. Which one, Orange Ricky or Blue Ricky? Because uh, Lulio has a bit with Orange and will happily provide you with the alibi. Dooley! What? He ruined my friend's good time. That is an unforgivable act. Hi there, everything okay? You look a bit glum. <laughs> of course I'm glum. They have me on, ba on door duty. I didn't come here to bounce, I came to wrestle. But they're all scared of me. How am I meant to get any fans if I don't get to wrestle? Stolen pictures are the best. You know they are good because somebody else already wanted to show it off. I got an idea. You can just use it on her. Uh, you know what might give that, that frown... Uh, yeah, turn that frown upside down? Give me an autograph. I would like that, yes. Do we have a pen I could borrow? I do not. Well, I'm going to sign your picture, but I'll need a pen. Any pens in here? This bin is filled with incredible lifelike drawings of wrestlers here. I went to art college, you know? One of the finest, th uh, finest in my class. With galleries and everything. But there's no money in the arts. Can't even get a mortgage. Never mind pay one. So I body slam and clothesline to support my real love. Culture. <laughs> uh, it, it is always funny to just... If you in an anime or any kind of show or story where you just find this muscle-bound <laughs> fuck, and it turns out they are just cultured as all hell instead of like dumb as a brick and such. Uh, what, what, what <laughs> kind of culture are we talking about here? For there's two different translations for that nowadays. Yeah, the art culture, not the uh, bacterial culture. Uh. It's a grubby but functional mirror. Yeah, these are occupied. 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 Nothing else here. 
Oh, the sink. Why are you staring at the sink so intently? Eh, clues, I guess. I see. Find anything? No. Yet you continue to stare. It's a very nice sink. Hmm. Yes, it is mesmerizing. <laughs> yeah, Rome does this accent way better than me! Really, because it's a lot more native to him. Uh, <laughs> Not specifically uh, more regional than Mexican itself. <clears throat> yeah, I've never heard of a typical Peruvian accent. Rome is the only Peruvian I heard speak. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see. Backstage is for the entertainment only. Bog off, Jenny Longcoats. I think I'm gonna need a disguise if I want to get in there. Why do we get the feeling we're going to need to, <laughs> to get use the protein shakes as a disguise or a mask? Possibly. It's good to be down here, rubbing shoulders with the common people. Yep. <laughs> what? Hey, look, um, a giant pen we can we're gonna need. <laughs> so, who are you? I, I'm not playing this game. We shall see. Oh no. Bailing from Green Bay, uh, Green Bay, the toilet uh, paper capital of the world's rowdy, rowdy paper. <laughs> <laughs> and his opponent with a line weight of 0 0.7, the penultimate warrior. <laughs> okay. <Blood>. Um, <laughs> I'm no wrestling fan myself, but even I can identify these references. I can't actually, <laughs> but I'm kind of surprised how much pixel work they went into doing all these wrestlers. Okay. Like, they did those good pixel work to begin with, but with the wrestlers, they went the extra mile. Yeah. They make cocktails here? Those liars lure you in with that, then try to sell you merch for the questionable drunk and and sexist warrior Manhattan. Okay, that would fell a bit flat for me. <laughs> oh. First off, though. I love the energy the crowd brings. You can feel their bloodlust. They need to see two people turning to each other for nothing but the adoration of the crowd. I don't think the crowd is that quite that bloodthirsty. Three, two. Speak for yourself, detective. I'm here to see some carnage. Murder him. Sally, <laughs> you're supposed to be a police officer. <laughs> okay. Is there anywhere around here that we can steal a pen or something? <laughs> El Durio likes to come here in his bathrobe and in his bathrobe and lie around in a relaxed or lazy fashion. He is often barred. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, so we get... If we get him an autograph, he'll probably give us at least one layer of his clothes. Then we can probably combine that with the 3D glasses for a quote-unquote disguise. <clears throat> El Dulia does not care for ticket. He's either a guest of honor or he does not go. We don't have cash to buy anything. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. I have a theory. I will not be surprised if this is correct. This is, this is Dooley we're talking about. Is he in the ring only to get in here for free? Maybe. Gotta go to the bathroom. Alright. Okay. Let's have you take oh. Dooley's voice yep. acting role again temporarily. Um, oh, we, I think we, we can are... take the pen. Yes. <laughs> this is dangerous. Somebody could trip over this. I should take it for safety reasons. Yoink. I can't believe the rest of the ref is allowing this. I just want to get this night over. My kid's piano recital is on after this. Ugh. Okay. A nice and conspicuous pen was stealthily safely and with no ch <laughs> taken stealthily safely and with no chance of repercussion. 
A yet man is going to beat you like a drum, my friend. Okay, probably send it myself. I will not do that, senor. Yipin... Yipin is known to hunt down forgers. She's very preci precious of a name. I should just bring it to her, so. <laughs> it will be the best, yes. Okay. What a treat. People never ask me to sign things because I, you know, I don't get in the ring much. Here you go. Well, that's really brightened up my day. Thanks, guys. There you go. One signed photo and one uh, missing pen. <laughs> signed picture of Jippin. Um, I am still unsure why you did not ask El Dulio to sign it. It's in the photo of you. People usually don't sign pictures of other people. They do not think big like El Dulio. Um, Dooley? When you sign your own name on someone else's face, it can be interpreted in many different ways. Yeah, that's it. Turn his face into paper molds. <laughs> Is that just going to change every time we move around? We move past? Hey, is this what he wants? Oh, wow, yes. Well, you know, this is relieving as it, you know, this is as relieving as it is fantastic, because honestly, I'm not a good dancer. My plan was never gonna work, but I'd already invested you know, so much, you know, I felt like I had to follow through. I guess I'm gonna get rid of this silly outfit now and bring this photo back to my mur uh, totally normal shrine. Were you about to say murder shrine just then? See ya! Lou? Lou, let me see this. Don't even try! She will beat you up! Because you'll, <laughs> she'll twist him into a pretzel and then bury him under the floorboards. <laughs> no, not a pretzel. I think more worse like a sailor's knot. <laughs> Permanently. That man, he just left all his clothes. Uh, oh no. Yep. He just ran off naked. <laughs> He's so surprised. That he's breaking character. <laughs> that he did. I was naked into the night. As naked as the day he was born. Do you need to go arrest him or something? Now I'll leave him for the blood side division to pick up. There is a police division for bot related crimes. I. I can't believe that. <laughs> There's certainly enough of them. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> welcome uh, back. Welcome back, so, home. Uh, so Disco Stu just dropped Trow and ran. <laughs> A leisurely jumpsuit with flares. It's better. It's it's good that he wasn't called Larry. Leisure yeah. Larry. Wait, I think that's what he might be in reference to. Could also be a, maybe a double Disco Stu and Leisure Suit Larry. Probably. Okay then. Hmm. I think we need to go to the. Seems gimmicky for me. What does the third D even stand for? Okay, I was half expecting Dooley to pipe up with something there. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, this that disqualified. Okay, for a second I thought we had to die it. Hmm. I think we have to do this in the bathroom. Probably. Okay. Wait, I have an idea. Why don't we recruit her? Or don't think I have, have yeah, don't think I have enough uh, here. Make an outfit, but I'm not sure what else I need. <laughs> you have, how does El Dulio says, put this delicately, you have the cup head. If you want to pass, you need something to cover that giveaway map. <laughs> what is a gimmick without a prop? El Dulio used to have a gun, but firing into the crowd while in character was in, uh, inappropriate. Duly. Now he wears this fun hat. Can we steal yeah. the hats? Yeah, I should have warned you wrong. Sometimes when you voice this about the voice act duly, you will have a time you just end up stopping wondering what the heck you're reading. 
<laughs> happened with so many times. Hmm. Is there anything we can use for a hat? Oh, give me a cup. Not this again. Dance for me, boy. A dollar. Dollar is a lot of cash. <laughs> he actually does a little chicken dance. Uh, that's it, boy. Dance for me. I feel so dirty. Well, I am a man of my word, so here you go. One dollar. Let me know the one hundred, the two hundred, yeah, the nine hundred and one dollar man. <laughs> you can, uh, you can stop now. Oh yeah, right. <clears throat> I didn't actually expect him to do anything with that. Yeah, I think we can buy something. Wait, wait, wait. But just know that did that sound, pumps you sound, sound more like a spank. Can we get into the phrasing later? Right now, we need to probably buy something. <laughs> Remain less a phrase more of a thing that the developers use the sound, wrong sound effects. Yeah, let's see. One dollar. One t shirt, please. Sure thing, here you go. Here's your change, too. One shirt. And Wait, that, change. That's a sheep one shirt. One cent. How does <laughs> a lone cent count? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Loose. Shirt with some wrestler I don't recognize on it. I say that yeah, as if there were some wrestlers that I would recognize, but there are none. Hmm. Yeah, you use the shirt to mask your cop hair and the outfit. Wait, I think you need a hat. There's only shirts here from the looks of it. Hmm. Or towel. Uh, uh, no. Thankfully, not the towers. Were those all sweaty towels? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Do we have enough now? No. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, time for a hint then. <clears throat> or do you have an idea, perhaps, Ram? I was gonna say use the sh use the shirt to cover your hair like tied up. Yeah, that was I was that that was what I was thinking, but apparently that's a no. Or actually, do we do we trade for this? Let's see, do you want this? Yeah. Also, all the all the no, I'm not going to do that. Lines have now been <laughs> turned into wrestler lines. Okay, come on, phone, Wait. work with me. <clears throat> Wait, but we to steal his hat? Maybe. Okay, for some reason my phone is being slow, even though it's actively on the charger. Uh, let's see. Royal, uh, Royal Fumble. Okay. Come on. Okay, I'm guessing the side is being a bit iffy because it keeps moving up and down. Hmm. <coughs> Come on. Load the freaking page. <coughs> okay, the game is lying out. Those two are not a couple. Come on. Opening the app again. You want me to look it up? I have a, I have my laptop next to me. Yeah, uh, you can if you uh, want. Uh, there we go. Now it's worked. Yep. I'm on a specific uh, site called Game Hint. Uh, if, uh, what? NiceGameHints.com. Okay. The T-shirt. Breaking a dollar. Okay. Backstage. Yes, wrestler outfits. Uh, mm -hmm. Clothing, hairpiece, and a prop. Uh, I guess the glasses might count as a prop. Hairpiece. <clears throat> uh, hey, but wait, we saw someone uh, that had a wig that was pointy. Yep. Yeah, hey, I need your wig for police business. 
No way, man. I needed to stay warm. This place is freezing. I'll tell you what, though. You sort me out, and I'll scratch yours. It's you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. Ah, uh, sure. You get me a top, and I'll scratch your back, weirdo. No, you just... I don't... Never mind. Here you go. Deal is a deal. Here, have my hair. I bet that's a sentence you never thought you'd say. Why would I think that? It's just... It's not a likely thing to say, is it? No, that's... That's true, but who sits around thinking of stuff they're not going to say? Given the 150,000 plus uh, words... Uh, given the 150,000 plus words in the English language and the billions of ways they could combine, you'd get nothing done. No, I guess not. And the sentences go. A deal is a deal. Here, you have my hair? Isn't that odd? Uh, now, jam, <laughs> jam has car bloop we ate frying is a far less likely sentence to say, isn't it? <laughs> and yet, here you are saying it. Touche, detective. Touche. <laughs> of course, he's bald. <laughs> A heavy metal wig. Is, is it literally metal? <laughs> it's prime ball power valid head. Okay, here we go again then. <laughs> yep, not yep, not press not up too Yeah, uh, getting without a prop. Just put, okay, put the hair on first. Yeah, we need all three pieces. <laughs> Wait, we missed Are you gonna can, can you combine each one? No, we need them separate. <laughs> Though we can get that line here then. Uh, okay, 3D glasses and hair. No, we can't combine them. Yeah, we need something else for the prop. Uh, let's see. Other two parts, clothes and wig, yes. I just mm -hmm. realized something. Doom is uh, buff. Yeah. I was imagining him to be typical beer gut, but no, he, he actually keeps in shape. <laughs> uh, maybe I can help. I could use the guitar f uh, for a case I'm on. <laughs> Back off, buddy. I'm trying to play some romantic tunes here. You are a romantic jerk. Okay, use so how do we get coin. him to give it up? Uh, use the... Oh. Uh, wait, no, try, try it on the jukebox. Ooh. A t-shirt for 99 cents and the use of a jukebox for 1 cent? They seem like reasonable and normal American prices for stuff. <laughs> Now, time to put on something loud. Now, man, who put that rubbish on? It's drowning out my guitar playing. I guess I'll lay the old strings down for a stretch. Rest up the magic fink notes. What even is this supposed to be? But I'm worried, my lady. <laughs> that dreadful racket won't last forever. Uh, here's hoping. Drink. I think I should take this before the goofy music ends, before that lady kills that man. A crime no court in the land would convict her for. Truly, think but don't say. Now, Dooley hardly has the capacity to think, so all he can do is say. <clears throat> all right. There should be enough for a believable wrestler disguise. El Dooley agrees. Wrestler Disguise. I guess you should put these on now. You can call yourself the Honky Tonk Detective. Okay, You're that's right, it's on. He's going to... Oh no, he just looks like Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Elvis. He looks, he looks more like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks uh, more yeah, like a... Knockoff of a, the, the cartoons band. Uh, Honky Tonk. Uh, I think that is part of a song title of from Elvis. I think. Don't like what you see? Then trash it. The outfit or the mirror? Yeah. Yes. Uh, that was a very Rome in Hillian like response. Hi there. Yeah, we just have to do it. You are meant to come in through the back door, fool. That's a back door? Of course, a 100% unguarded door. This isn't a bank. 
<laughs> so we literally went through all of that, only it turns out there's a fucking back door that nobody guards. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Senor de Detectivo. Ah, El Julio, there you are. Senor Detectivo. De now I've just got this fucking swap. That's my line, Jesus. Senor de Detectivo, are you ready for our match together, my friend? Duly, who is this? Please, Senor, I'll tell you, do not know who this Duly is. My name is El Julio, and this is my best friend and wrestling partner. Senor Detectivo. Pleased to meet you, sen yeah, Senor Detective. Your best. You have another part. Partner, yes, and best friend. Tonight we will fight this overgiver and his demon ally. And demonic ally. In the name of our friendship, the Earth uh, friendship, if you will. As in the friendship against which all other friendships are measured. And then found lacking, but enough about our friendship. You are still in a case, my new friend, no? Yes. I need to find out who the, uh, who the overgiver is. Maybe there will be something I can use in his locker. Wait. <clears throat> it's all socks and pants in here. That's a wrestler's standard uniform. I don't envy your laundromat. I think that's wrong. <laughs> you have squiggles. I guess I'll need to figure out the Overgiver's real name to know which locker is his. There's gotta be some records or an office or something in this place. Vivian Moonman, very real wrestler. Danny the Shovel Shovel Man. That one was easy. Dwayne Fistbender. Dwayne and Swift Gibson. You look familiar, yeah. my friend, new friend. Have we met before? I cannot place you. Did he put you Did up he... to this? You you only have to do uh, El Dulio's lines, Ram. <laughs> uh, did who put uh, me up to what? I'm afraid I do not understand. Mm. Someone's a bit jealous. No. Or very, very confused and annoyed that he had to put on the Elvis getup he hates. Only it yeah. turns out there's a back door. An empty water cooler. The, the cat burglar. I threw the water out to dehydrate my foes. Her, her, her. Come, right. All right. He is a true bad guy. This bad guy. This place reminds me of when I was in the dark side searching for you. I have not been on any dark side. I do not like the warring stars. I remember as if it was yesterday. Please! No! No plasma! He might even still be in this uniform. He looks. Uh, he likes people to know he, he's a cop in case they're looking for someone to bribe. Uh, look behind the detective. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm, let me think. Okay, I gotta help this guy. Maybe leave your card and I'll let you know? Sure, thanks. Time cop, you found all the flashbacks of Dooley's dark side adventures. <laughs> Wait, okay, Fairy, what if this is not the. Uh, is, is it really funny Dooley. if this is actually Dooley and Dooley yeah. shows up at the end? Yeah, I, I won't expect that to happen. <laughs> if, if that's going to happen, I'm going to freaking lose it. <laughs> it is important to never skip the leg day. <laughs> oh dear. If that is true, that is makes me even more sense for Rome doing this. <laughs> I've worked up a good sweat for my next match. You go into the matches sweaty? Sure thing. It gives me an edge on my foes. They don't want to grab me and get covered in my stank. Sometimes I'm so sweaty I slip through their limbs. That is very unpleasant. I don't care what you or my opponents think. The audience can't see I'm grubby. As long as I look clean, I don't need to wash. I hope to never find myself against you in the ring. <laughs> Do you lift, bro? I lift, bro. Do you lift, bro? Bro, I lift. Do you even lift, though? Bro, I lift. Do you, bro? Do you even? <laughs> bro, 
I lift, bro. I lift. Do you lift, bro? Do you lift, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro, I lift. I lift, bro. Bro, do I lift. Bro. 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 <laughs> I'm not even. <laughs> I hate her from smiling so much. A rack for towels. I think it's rusted from the sweat of wrestlers. Wait, how did the sweat get up there? Just one shower for all these men? We have a strict rota system. If you miss it, you make a lot of, of enemies. So we need to figure out a way to get a thing to get a thing. <laughs> the lounge is where El Dulio goes to celebrate his wins, but here is where he comes after a loss. Shouldn't forget to ask him. This, this is a synagogue of sweat, the mask of muscles, the church of chin-ups. I pray here a few times a week. Daily on Holy Week. Uh, I'm a bit 50-50 on if it is uh, not Julie or it is, because there was that bit earlier where he just absolutely sh shattered character in surprise. Yeah, that's the only one, unless they made that to throw you off. Yeah. <clears throat> well, look who it is, El Dulio and some unimportant lackey. Hey, ready to be pulverized? Oh, I would like to avoid this, please. Perhaps I can write you an apology card. The only card I care about is the one showing uh, when our rematch is on, which is soon. I'm going to have my demon flatten you down to one dimension. We need to find out where that demon came from. There's gotta be a clue in this guy's locker. Which one is it? There has to be a record around here somewhere. Wait. Smush, smush. <laughs> 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 it's me trying to do a stupid voice. I've never heard you use that voice. Great, great. These two. If tonight is mine, Aldulio. Closer, Marv. Closer. Get that sweet tight shot. Steady, steady. Damn it, too close, Marv. Pull back, pull back. You're Anything, Marv. Else? <laughs> Anything else you want to tell to the audience? Once I win my first match by defeating El Dulio and Det uh, Detectivo, I'm going to uh, win all the matches here. Then I'm coming for the mayor of the city. Soon I'll have wrestled my way up to being the president of America. <laughs> oh, that's in the Constitution. Okay, best of luck, young man. But I'm not a young man. <laughs> best of luck, old lady. <laughs> da. Oh, what the fuck is with his face? <laughs> Let's just keep going. Okay. First, though. So, how long have you been at this? El Durio has had the, that he say, WrestleMania in his heart since childhood. As a child, he watched Big Andy fight the incredible bulk and thought to himself, That looks awful. I want in. He took a beginner's class last fall. It was a gift from his pizza delivery boy. Okay. I'm sorry to say this, people. There is a movie called Incredible Bulk. Yeah. Mike's Mike Nassau. John Goose Roberts. Anouk Anderson. David Farrelly. Jacques Rene. Sorry, guy. Can't chat. Gotta have my head in the game for my match later on. Trashy Pounds. That's a horrible name. Is that? Yes, me back in my glory days. They called me the Commissioner. I held the belt for Best Administrative for St. England Middle Paperweight category. Oh. Hmm. What are these circles for? Okay. Three, seven. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sixteen, seven. <laughs> 23, 3. I'm just going to write these down quick. Because these are definitely for a puzzle. Is that a giant golden pickaxe head? Oh wait, no, that's a belt! 
<laughs> of course. <laughs> so that's the belt they are all fighting for. You like it, kiddo? Take it. I have a ton of them in the warehouse. El Dulio does not like this peek behind the curtain. The illusion, once broken, can never be repaired. <laughs> a cheap leather belt with <laughs> a shiny plastic buckle. Please, no, it hurts too much to hear. So many nights of my life I fight for this. <laughs> it's locked. Excuse me, can I have the key? I'm a cop. You look like, more like a rock and roll legend to me. Ugh, well, he's a cop then. Maybe, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. I don't have the key anymore. We lost it in the key match early last month. I'm going to have to force the lock on it one of these days. But you actually what? put the, the key for one of your... If I understand correctly, a key match is where the, a key is hung above the, uh, the, the, the arena and the wrestlers have to fight for ladders to get up there. The one who gets the key, well, they win the match. <clears throat> Well, of course, that's going to be pretty hard when you're trying to climb a ladder and two others, you know, or anyone else, can just topple the fucking ladder on at any moment. <clears throat> Sounds bloody dangerous. Yeah. Flyers promoting tonight's events. Looks like they forgot to distribute them. It has the same wiring, uh, writing on it as the big screen out you know, at the ring. Of course it does. I have to program that uh, that just like I have to do everything else around here. <coughs> so what I'm thinking is that ugh, we need to find a chant to uh, banish the demon and then get the crowd to chant it by putting it on a video or, or something and putting it on that computer. And here's the back door. Random gal. Damn it, where are you, Butch? Everything okay? Oh, oh yes. Uh, just waiting for my lift. My uh, match was first build, and I've uh, wait around after. Oh, you were wrestling here? Sure. You wouldn't know me though, out of costume. That's why you don't recognize me. Is it now? Yeah, yeah. I wrestle under the name M, the Abominable Woman. It's Yeti. <laughs> it's a Yeti team gig. Hmm. It's a very hairy outfit. When did you start this, all this wrestling? El Dulio began many months ago when a co-worker was annoying him and he wanted to put somebody in a headlock. Hey. What's that? This? This is where I keep my wrestling outfit in. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Mm. I once saw a man bent press these bins, you know? He was large, the largest man I ever saw. Big, almost mechanical arms. He lifted them above his head, screamed, and ate the contents. Okay. <laughs> they called him the garbage truck. He uh, arrives every second Tuesday. That's that's not a wrestler. That's literally the garbage truck. <laughs> it, Rob, I did warn you. <laughs> if this guy is not Dooley for some reason, he is a far-off fucking cousin from him. <laughs> or his freaking doppelganger. <laughs> That's a lot of rope. I presume they won't miss a little bit. Hands off, that belt is being repaired after Belt Smasher used it to smash in Smash Face's face. <laughs> that was one of the great moments of modern name wrestling. <coughs> A row of chairs. They look so peaceful while they sleep. <coughs> grease can. Cavill now. I'm gathering straight grease in that. If nobody breaks something soon, I'm gonna spill it everywhere and watch these wrestlers slip and slide themselves until something or other so, uh, so we have something to fix. <laughs> That's one way to ensure your job security and immediately get fired. <coughs> A toolbox where tools are kept. Lovingly kept. Drill. I like drilling holes. Don't even need a reason. Just drilling holes for holes drilling's sake. That's our calendar of uh, respectively dressed ladies. What have you got here? 
Some Egypt got out, uh, has only gone and smashed his bin over some other Egypt's heads. Smashed the whole thing in, Egypt's. Not now, Alfie. If they didn't break make all this stuff, what would we fix? Our failing connection with the youth of today? Shut up. <laughs> oh, you joker. Oh, gosh. Are they okay? It's not a real bin, you gong. It's a prop bin. You wouldn't go around throwing real bins at people now, would you? To be fair now, LP, you can throw it at things too, not just people. Anyway, it's fixed now, so be a good lad and bring it back to the stage for somebody else to smash. Just shove all of that in, the, in, in our pockets. Look outside, William. Eh? Is it daytime? No. Is it a warm midsummer's day? It is not. Are my loved ones hanging out, sharing a beer and playing music while children frolic about? They are not. Then get your stupid hands off my barbecue gas because it's clearly not barbecue season, Egypt. You gods. So you're a fan of wrestling? What? Wrestling, the place we are? What are you blathering on about, you idiot? We're in a workshop. He has a point. Why are you yeah. out here instead of uh, in watching the match? Oh, all well, that big man in tight stuff? Not for me, I'm afraid. I just like uh, that they break things. Gives me and Alfie something to do. In the belt. Hmm. Let's see, we can go up the ladder. Yep. I can see the ring from up. Yep. So, accidentally clicked. Just skip most of the dialogue. Hmm. Hmm. Duly, there seems there has to be a cage suspended above it. Please, senor, if you wish my help with this investigation, you must call me by my name. <sighs> See that cage, El Dulio? That could be useful. Gracias. This is where the Hell in a Cell matches that happen from time to time. They're quite the spectacle. Interesting. Stainless steel chimney pipe, presumably part of the boiler system. I got an idea. Use the rope on the chimney pipe. Mm. It would <laughs> not hold, friend detective. It is cheap metal made only for cheap herding smoke out of buildings. It is weak, not strong like El Dulio. Hmm. No. Nope. <coughs> Any reason to throw that down there? Can we throw this at someone down there? That'd be a high blow, since it'd be coming in from above. Hmm. Again, try giving the... The construction... The construction worker the belt. Construction worker, what are you talking about? The... Uh, workshop worker? No, the workshop guy. Or maybe this guy. This guy can have the belt. Fuck off. Uh, let's let's go from uh, right to left about. Yeah. Legal move. Can we swap these? Nope. Hmm. It's qualified. You want to bet that ac she actually has a jetty, and she just pretends to be the yeti. <laughs> Good chance in this place. Yeah, I was pondering that as well. <laughs> so let's be honest. Wrestling in a full yeti suit, yeah, <laughs> you will probably die of a heat stroke. Hmm. Well, die or faint. I didn't think of that. Probably explain why so many wrestlers are me naked. So we need to get our hands on that key somehow. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but I think for the moment I think I need I think I need to call a quick BRB. So noting the time. One four five. Okay, well, yeah, be back in five or ten minutes. Alright. Yeah. Then uh, are we gonna grab a drink and yeah, we see you all soon again, folks, in a very short moment. Yeah, this one shouldn't take too long. There we go, we return. Uh, time... 
again note to self, don't keep black pens on a black desk, because you will lose the fuckers. Okay, 150. It blue pens. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, we need to find that key. Question is where? I presume it would be somewhere around here. <laughs> well, if it isn't my dancing boy again, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I have had my fun. <laughs> Jackass. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can find any hints about this key. There it is. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the cap is bad. Uh, I want to ask Rom something. If Rom's still there, of course. Then open the filing cabinet. Force the yes. lock on it. Okay. Then we need a crowbar. Okay, apparently we need to distract Cat Burglar with the shower somehow. Hmm. <laughs> I think you, we can directly ask him. Uh... Wrong. What? Um... One thing should not be there. Why is there a crowbar? Yeah, yeah see? Rom noticed that as well. That looks useful. It is useful. To me. Hands off. I'm gonna have to distract this guy if I want that crowbar. Please distract him into the shower. He's a biohazard. <laughs> print screen. I sadly lost the previous print screen because I forgot to save it before restarting the computer, but I'm keeping that one. Actually, I'm putting it into paint right now. Yeah. Oh, well, there. Uh, Rom is back. <laughs> I want to ask you something, Rom. Yeah. What do you think of El Dulio so far? Either he's duly really fucking with us, or he's Dooley's wrestling cousin like it's the Stig. Oh dear. But, uh, yeah, do you like voice acting him so far? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. Okay, how do we distract him then? Wait, is a crowbar? <laughs> I have an idea. No, we can't kneecap him. Oh, I was thinking you'd be also to try to find head crabs. Now <clears throat> yeah, throw him something stanky and sticky. That might. We do the we towel. really need? Yeah. Or we actually wait. have a use for them towel. <clears throat> And there's a sweaty towels at the souvenir shop. Yeah. I'm not too sure those will count since he doesn't mind about being sweaty and such. Hmm. Oh, drink. Let's see. What's that you're drinking? Yeah, it seems sticky. Can I have it? But no way, I'm nowhere near hyper enough to cause any real harm yet. What's it worth to you? I don't know, I'm a kid. I have no real concept of the values of things. But give me something shiny and way more valuable than this and I'll probably swap. Well, this looks well. valuable. This shiny and seemingly valuable enough? Wait, why are the parentheses there? Well, this belt has a little real uh, financial uh, value. It's clearly just a normal belt with some gold foil over it. But it has perceived value due to the efforts people put in, uh, in to get it. I think what happened there was I used a big word like parentheses and you mistook that to mean I'm smarter than I am. <laughs> you gotta take the belt or not, kid. That's another one. <laughs> Sticky drank. Wait, drank? <laughs> that must be a typo. How do they make these things so luminous? Oh, great, it's... <laughs> It's Bonk it's, Atomic Punch. It's Nuka-Cola Quantum, but green. 
Yeah, you guys can call a line. Whoops. Now, nah, man, you covered me in Gloop, the official sponsors of you. This is gonna make me look like a slob to the audience. Sorry, it was an accident. I don't know, all those quotation marks make me suspicious. Ugh, I better go wash this stuff off. Yep, of course he takes his fucking crowbar. Okay, gently does it. Got a nap as well, he's washing. Can we nap the rest? If only we could make him wash his clothes also. I'm probably gonna drop a weight class with all this sank I'm washing up. I feel we're doing the God's work in getting this man to wash. Wait, can we fuck with his shoes? No. Okay. Why do you, what would you want to touch his shoes? Just, <laughs> I don't know, to put something in them. Yeah, I don't think you want to go near the shoes. Yep, and we're in. And we're in. An ultimate uh, uh, warrior dink, no, uh, dink scrummage. I think mm. you need to read all the names. The other giver, Dwayne Fessbender. Yep, yep, Dwayne. <laughs> Yay. What? Rowdy Rowdy Paper. Rowdy Duff. The Too Much Man, Ramp and Savage. Big Andy, Andre. Andre the, the, the Giant. Yeah. That's, that's a wrestler. Bulk Bogan, Hulk Hogan, Jerry Bolognese. Slight <laughs> Tremors, Tony Tentman, Strong Winds, Otis Tentman, The Shovel, Danny Shovelman, Succulent Sue, Michelle Jackson, so that guy is in the name. Sly Whiskers, Overgiver, Dwayne Fisper, Tool Bands, John Dugman, John Dugman, <laughs> uh, Brad the Assassin Arts, Bradley Artson, Joko Sumo, <laughs> Ryan Samurai, Luke uh, Brush Rustler, Luke Brush Rustler, <laughs> Butch Rustler. Okay. Uh, girl told you that, kid. You should have asked. <laughs> Just help me find his locker. Find his locker. Oh, hello. Is this your mongoose? Ownership is theft. Also, he is his own man. So, ownership in this case is also slavery. John Goose the Mongoose reference. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you have a license for him, but now I feel awkward. Sorry if you have being confronted by your own prejudices is awkward for you. If I learned anything in season one, it's that paint is one of those handy things to have on one's person. That one person being me. I need to stop to spread my manifesto. What? I'm here to kick ass and open minds. And I haven't opened one mind, so I'm here just here to kick ass. Fighting is just a platform to spread the message. When I'm mid suplex and all eyes are on me, they're seeing the message. My message. Now they're just putting your they're just seeing you putting your balls in the mouth of another guy. My 13 point manifesto painted on my back for all the youths to see and wake up. In only four lines. But I can't see if it's legible or not. <laughs> Looks okay to me. Police are just the stronger of the corrupt government. The only eyes I trust are my own. Well, surely there's a mirror around here somewhere. The kind of a dressing room doesn't have a mirror. The kind that's trying to censor me. <laughs> Whoa, guy, I wouldn't mess with him. He's a mongoose, an angry mongoose. Why are you so angry? I feed him poorly and poke him before matches. Really? That's terrible. <laughs> Relax, I'm joking. He just hates show business. He was a doctor back in the home country. We don't recognize his medical degree here, and he has most defeats, so... <laughs> Yeah. Heavy petting, you pet all the animals in the game. Yeah, I feel like it's that a thing only in USA or is that common in other countries? <clears throat> My medical license is not being recognized? Yeah. I'm not too sure. But what's over go. here that happened is in USA, anything that happens in USA, so I don't know if that's a USA thing or an actual global thing. Yeah, not too sure. Are you sure we should look through his things like that? Like this? He has a book titled The Wrestling Vessel, The Wrestle Vessel, How to Up Your Game by Summoning Literal Hell. I think we have our man. 
You don't know that. Hmm. There's a section on how to send your demon home post-mass. Let's see. I need to surround the demon with the runes shown here and then have its name et uh, chanted at it on mass. There's other info on the spell in here, but I can't decipher it. I need something to help me see through the clutter. In the meantime, I need to find something uh, that encases the demon when he's in the ring. Something I can paint anti-demon sigils onto. You sound like the madman. El Dulio is considering reporting you to the commissioner. He knows everything about the world of wrestling, including how to deal with loco policia like yourself. Okay, that's another point towards it not being Dooley. Because Dooley would be all into this shit. But then again, El Dulio might not be. <clears throat> that runes. Can't fully decide the name though. I need something. Uh, pretty glasses? Let's see what we can see. Looks like I can make out hidden messages in the page. Let's see. Smiley face. Read that stupid dollar sign. Bupo. Bupo. The Bupo. Demon's name is Bupo. Chilling stuff. What? Oh, uh, man, I, I wanted to check it with the blue lens still. <laughs> but I think it might have just shown the same thing. Wait, no. I don't think it would. For I feel like... For, for that text, I think it was supposed to be, you need the red one. <laughs> oh, everything here is right. Now I'm sure myself. I no, can't really ch check now. Okay, I'm guessing we need to drop the cage down to trap them at the very least. Yeah. Hmm. We need to get. We need to get the boss to put up the the, the name. <clears throat> Like a miss, I saw the cage you guys sometimes use. How does one, I don't know, get that in play? You want to set up a cage, Mad Kid? Ask Ticket, can we turn the match you know, with El Dulio and Senor De De Detectivo against the Overgiver uh, and his demon friend into one of those? Wait, what? Eh? What demon? I haven't sent off any demon sticks. Eh, somebody is trying to make something new. Crowd loves it. Would make for a great match. Interesting. We need a good heal around here. I'd, yeah, I'd love to check this demon out, kids. Maybe send him up for a cage match, and it's like you say. Doesn't El Dulio get to say in this? Nope. But I am flat out notes with admin work. Got a rubber stamp merch for, uh, for out front again. Damn lazy wrestlers won't sign their own stuff. I had it done already, but the crate I you know, kept it all in seems to have gone missing. Oh, that's what the crate is. This demon, he is very big. So, you're so eager to get uh, me out here and see this fella. Maybe you can help? That was not El Dulio sounding eager. That was the sound of him sounding not eager. Anti-eager. Find the merch I've already signed. It was here a while ago. I can't... Uh, I, I can't have lost it. It's in a massive crate. Without it, I have to do my work over again. But find it, I can go see this demon fella. See if it's worth putting him in a match against El Dulio. Very big. <laughs> oh, hello there. <coughs> Man, a cop. That's not a cop, they're wrestlers pretending to be police. I'm a detective, actually, a real one. And my friend here is also a cop, pretending to be a person, imp pretending to be a cop. This is not true. Oh, I'm so confused. I didn't want to do it. We needed the cash to fix the bike. Fabian said wrestling fans love memorabilia, so... Butch, just drive. I, I, I can't. I'm too scared. <laughs> this face is too pretty for jail, Fabian. I'm sorry. Ugh, man. Z. What's wrong with the bike? The seat fell off. If I bring Zed's back... Uh, if I bring Zed's bike... Like, back to him broken, who knows what horrible stuff he'll do to me. Zed's what? dead, baby! Zed's dead! <laughs> what if I can fix the seats? Would that solve everything? I mean, we live in an age of vast economic imbalance and disconnectedness, uh, trying to mention... Not, not to mention the food imbalance and the worrying climate. So, no, it wouldn't fix everything, but it fixed my immediate problem, yes. 
Antox, sorry, my la lift is here. Get the large box, I keep my wrestling outfit in onto the bike boats quickly. Uh, don't get any prints on it. That would kill me if it came back dirty. Seriously, the the guy's bike oh, be known by a guy named Zed is a uh, is a uh, Pulp Fiction reference. We still need to watch it. <laughs> Let's see. Can Wait, we get these guys to it. fix it? Hmm? Grab one of the grab one of the chairs. <laughs> Shame these are the wrong kind of seats. Okay, now I'm out of ideas. I think we might need this belt because it sort of looks like a seat. Hmm. But we need to either distract them, also we need that paint. Hmm. I hear you in the cage match now. Smart thinking, getting locked up now yeah, with this guy. A double weave. I said smart getting locked up with this fella. Jesus. Uh huh. There's, there's no laugh truck, jackass. Why is there this much tumbleweed in here? Demon whose name shan't be mentioned. I mean you. Her? Okay. Oh, uh, Why are you so angry at El Du... at him? It has nothing to do with El Dulia. I'm just sick of losing. I've been coming to training for ages, literally weeks. I should be the champion by now. This should have been my match, but he tried to take it from me. Well, if this place won't play by the rules, then neither will I. Aren't you the cinema kid? I might have worked in the cinema once, in a lifetime, maybe. Yeah, it is you. What was that cult you were in? Something to do with porridge? The Brotherhood of the World's End was not a cult. It was an alternative religion. It wasn't porridge. It was gruel. Gruel the end timer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. Uh, how is all that going for you? <laughs> Managed to end the world yet? I left that life behind. No? It wasn't for me. Same reason I left the Freemasons. I got into the occult to meet girls, you know. All those old boys clubs are full of, well, old boys. What, no goodbye? No, you're trying to kill my friends. More than more acquaintances. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Nothing new here. I'm the EU champion now, take that gym coach. <coughs> Okay, I'm out of ideas of what we might need to do now. There's no... no... We need to get that paint guy into the bathroom somehow to get him to check his own... the lines. <clears throat> we need something to fix the motor. Now you need a seat for the bike and... Well, actually, yeah, the bathroom mirror is probably it. So, do you have anything new to say? No. Hmm. Nothing new. Same writing, yeah. Okay, in time then. And let's see, about 50 minutes left. Okay. Uh, back to the start with this. <clears throat> and it's, it's a manifesto, that's gotta be it. Uh, paint manifesto, yeah. Show him mirror. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, that's new. El Dulio wants you to know, detective, that he could take this man. You could take me out to dinner, maybe. El Dulio is game if you want. Flushes. He was like a school girl. <laughs> I mean, that's a reference. 
But that's one way to conquer your enemies. Okay, if we can't bring the guy to the uh, mirror, we bring the mirror to them. <laughs> the wrestling! A few both shame and elation. In time, you will lose the shame and feel only the elation. No, I'm never doing that again. See, this is what we all say at first. Here, take this souvenir to remember your first time. Okay, backstage, right. Uh, what do you mean with a hole on mirror, uh, a broken mirror like that? <laughs> See, you look perfect. Actually, I do look good. I was worried I'd written it all backwards, but I can read it fine in the mirror. It means I'm reading really ready to rumble. <laughs> that means it is backwards, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mongoose. Then that's another screen cap. Yoink. We're gonna have a full-on paint. <laughs> oh, Helios' favorite word. Body paint, chocolate flavored. What else? Okay, so Wait, we need to paint that. Flavored? The paint. Uh. <clears throat> okay, we'll still need to get our hands on. Uh, let's see. Uh, fall cabinet, manifesto, mirror, paint, bike seat. Okay. Oh. Okay, we're going to need the toolbox. Yep. <laughs> Okay, by <laughs> by getting the manifesto bit done, we also found the so the part for this. So monster has gone and only gone and broken the mirror in the bathroom. Who would do that? Bleeding idiot's dead. Sounds like that'll keep us entertained for a while. Let's go, Alfie. You ain't... Maybe we need the toolbox, and maybe we Super. can take the belt. Super, I can take what I need now. How many of these are there? No, we can't actually take that one. But we can find somewhere else that has a seat. There. Right, that's the seat off. Should we put something there in case anyone jumps on? Eh, that'll be fine. <laughs> Eye opening, even. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, reminded of a joke from It's Always Sunny. Oh, oh, come on. Where, uh... Which one was it? Mac. Where Mac was... Where they all were on a court thing because they wanted to get the money from a... from a lottery ticket, and Mac comes out, and Dennis basically points out, we found the bike, and Mac's like, okay, so... And they bring out the bike, and it's this exercise bike, but it has a dildo on it with a little fist on it so that anytime you use the bike, it goes up. And it's on the seat. Uh, and, it's just, and his justification is that it's supposed to keep you like, you know, you keep using the bike, you get tired, you roll the bike, the the dildo with the fist on it just, put, just punches you in the ass just to get you up, but, well, Mac is gay, so nobody really buys that. Oh, good. <laughs> now, now I'm just picturing that cat burglar coming out of the shower, still washing his face, and he just jumps on the exercise bike to get sweaty again. And then just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here you go. <clears throat> okay. Here you go. No need to rob that ludicrously large crate of forgery merch now. It's perfect. What? That's a bicycle seat. It's far from perfect. Perfect, I say. I'm in love with an idiot. Yes, you are. Okay. Yoink. Let's get this back to the commish. It's again just shoving something that's far bigger than him into his freaking pockets. I think we need to write down the, the symbols. 
Okay, here. Here's your crate of missing merchandise. Great, I can bring this to the merch stall and then go see the, at his demon fellow you told me about. See if it's worth locking him in the cage with El Julio here. Again, I wish to say this demon is very big, way outside El Julio's weight range. <clears throat> Let's go with him. The very crazy okay, old demon. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I'm used to the crowd really hating these guys to impress the commissioner. Time to rile them up. Yeah, let's see. I fight for these. Hey, demon, this lady thinks you have nice eyes. Sick to that's a lamp to for us. Would you mind getting your picture taken with this man's dog? I fight for Jesus. Do you want some refreshing glue? I think we know which one's going to piss him off. Brr. Rude, take the compliment, fella. Brr. He got the words right, but the key is off. I just like hearing it and we'll judge him accordingly. Oh, please. I call him Trash Heap because he's such a fan of you know, the sport. We're already discussing it. Hey, don't threaten my dog like that. Boo on you. Oh, man, I just got spit washed. <laughs> I just got spit you know, washed out of my hair earlier today. Gloop sponsors you. Must hate you if he hates Gloop. And if he hates you, then we hate him. Yep. Uh, High five Swipe. for Jesus. Scratch claws. <laughs> it's not a Jesus high fives. This guy's a brute. <laughs> you leave my dog out of this. He can't say that about me. I feel a strong dislike towards this performer. Boo, who does this guy think he is? Rabble, 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 rabble. I hate this guy. Dave. You're right, kiddo. This will make us a pretty penny. The case matches on. And Lulio is filling a cup, he thinks, in the pit of his stomach. Perhaps he cannot go to school this day? <laughs> Somebody better inspect the cage. It's been a while since we last used. We need to get those glyphs painted on ASAP, Dooley. <laughs> this is gonna be great. The audience will be happy if the faces win, and the you know, storyline will go on for ages if they lose. Win-win for me. Uh, for like the two people who probably don't know, the terms face and heel are like for hero and villain in wrestling. <laughs> okay, now how do we get the cage painted? Since we need to go down there. Hmm. Wait, did he say something when you did that on the pipe? Oh, there we go. I need you to hold me over the edge. What? Why would I do this? I need to get uh, to the cage to paint it in order to defeat that demon. Your plan makes no sense to El Dulio, but this is a demon. He's very big and El Dulio will take all the help he can get. Uh, still 50-50 on if it is actually Dulio or just his Mexican cousin. <laughs> <laughs> well, down I go. Why? Why am I doing this again? <laughs> There's the cage. Just need to paint the runes from this book on there and then can trap the demon inside them. Please tell me you have the paint! You have the paint, yes! I do. Good! <laughs> Hurry up down there! It won't take long. I have a lot of practice. In fact, who wants to watch paint dry? Let's just gloss over it. Sports fans, it's time for the main events. Finish just in time. We better get down there. You take your time there, El Dulio is not in such a rush anymore. Uh, oh, uh, oh, we're still outside. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the evening's main event. The Overgiver and his very large demonic ally versus El Dulio and Senor Detectivo. Okay, just down, distract those guys while I get the crowd chanting. I think I'm retiring. I can do this before the match, see? There goes the bell. Now is the time to fight, my friend. I kind of want to see him just get smacked around. This is it, my friends. Our night, the fight of our lives. I can feel the great inspector in the sky smiling down on us right now. I wish I had your enthusiasm. I feel like I should break this up. It's it's unfair. I hate my demon dust, loser. Snarl. 
Oh, my friend he doesn't realize what's wrong with his face. It's supposed to be Agni. Yeah. Okay, that works, yeah. My friend is angry and you're trapped in the cage with him. Even better. Uh, do your hopes you have a plan? <laughs> I don't fancy Aldulio's arts in this match. Even when why the hype look, guy is can't well, hide why, them. The, why does he look like Ledge from Kaden Ledge? Who? <laughs> He's a okay. guy from another game. Yeah. yeah now we're just gonna. Okay. Okay. Talk. Okay. Talk to the. Talk to the guy. Sorry, no, you're not famous enough to interview. Fuck. Very talked about. You know, <laughs> Keep your answer to yourself, cowboy. I'm not dressed as a cowboy this time either. I ain't saying you are the cowboy, I'm saying you are a cowboy. Same as before, just a polite way to call you a fool. Damn it, I've only gone and ruined it again with my explaining. Oh well. <laughs> oh, you gotta make it. Ah, uh, This is where the big screen is programmed, now to get it to say what I want. Looks like I need to figure out the commission's pin number. Okay, and that's actually oh, where this oh, is right. going to be yeah, useful. That was, uh, yeah. Let's see. Six, seven, two, seven, three. No, you you okay, wrote one, seven, three. That's it's okay, sixteen, just... not six. Yeah. <laughs> just okay. There we go. Yes, I'm in. Right, I just have to import the demon's name to get uh, the audience to shout it out and banish him. Okay. okay yeah. uh, you would think someone would program this uh, a bit smarter than that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it is for a sick for a weird mini game. Let's see, I need to switch these two around. <coughs> Kills an egg. No, no. Okay. Um, I swear, there's the U. Um, think or oh that yes. needs to be in the middle yeah the middle bit oh yeah for for those who mm -hmm. are supposed to be up there but yeah middle makes sense um. quickly before el dulio dies horribly to a demon <laughs> let me say this rob doing very good voice acting he does Get into the room easier than me, since I don't. I'm afraid to accidentally disturb uh, people downstairs and such. <laughs> so yeah, hops up to Rom, I say. There we go. That's Thanks. it. Now to get back to the ring. <clears throat> <laughs> the detective is down, and the big guy has El Dulio in a death grip. It looks like it's lights out for these guys. Boo pro, boo pro, boo pro. Even the ground is chanting for the bad guys now. Uh, whoa, whoa. Yep. What? Oh! Thank the gods! It looks like the Overgiver's new friend vanished as quickly as he appeared. I'll do the as in pins. No, wait, Rev, you said you didn't allow two on one matches. That's true, I did say that. Ah. I. I forfeit. It is just a true of you. Again. Oh. Prepare to lose, me para. I one, don't know what that one. Two, three, and out. <laughs> it's not fair. Life's not fair. Welcome, Dooley. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's actual fucking Dooley. 
Oh, my turn to voice yes. that again. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'm late, detective. Norma's hot dog stall was on the on the tracks, and by on the and by on the tracks, I mean near them. I stopped for hot dogs, is what I'm saying. Really? You're you, then who is Eldulio, and why did you want me to meet you here? I thought it was to show me your secret life as a wrestler. What? It is way too dangerous for me. I brought you here because I wanted to show you this wrestler I look like. Jipping, we are like twins, detective. Jesus Christ, Julie. I think I'm gonna sue for likeness rights. Good <laughs> luck, <laughs> you see what I mean, Rom? <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay, I think most of us saw it coming, but with how wrestlers tend to be in character whenever they at all times when the mask is on. Yeah. I could see it as this. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, we... okay Dooley's apparently pansexual. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't and... know that. <clears throat> yeah. I wonder who Dooley was. <clears throat> yeah, Dooley, yeah, El Dulio at the very least, uh, well, swings at least for the men. Not sure about the women, but... He flirted with the woman as well. Okay. If let me him. Let's see. Class of the Titans. This can't be any good. Our high school reunion. Yay. I misread a title. <laughs> what did you read it as? Class of, of the Titans. <laughs> I read to it. Uh, the title is supposed to be parody of. <laughs> what the? Mm, yep. Oh, so you're a detective now, just like McKing, eh? No, not like McKing. Well, sort of like McKing, the same but different, you know? Yeah, I get you. Cool. He inspired you. You followed him into the forest and now work under him, right? Like a mentee? Am I picking you up correctly? I want to go now, Dooley. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Let's see. The banner points down to what? The banners point down to man the students' expectations. Really? What a beautiful light display! Don't stare, detective. I'm pretty sure they already abducted at least three poor students. Where do we get the feeling we're going to get obscure references? And not this, not in obscure, but as in the game obscure. Mm. Uh, huh? Let's see, Jonathan. And then I invested in all sorts of stock. Beef flavored <laughs> chicken, fish too. And yeah, so now I'm a billionaire. Oh, me? After high school, I founded a new country. A little place called New Atlantis. New Atlantis? Oh yes, yeah, a wondrous new land where humankind is free to explore the full scope of science and morality untethered. Look, Gabby, we all know you drunkenly sank a cruise ship. It had to reach that cover it up. You would let this uh, You're a fooling nobody. Oh, that felt so mean. You he, wore your uniform? I was like, I'm pretty sure she was, like, was referencing Raptor. <laughs> How else will people know about my side gig as a private dancer? Gotta get those clients somehow. Dooley has a Dooley sidelines as a fucking stripper. <laughs> he he sidelines as a stripper cop. And he is a cop Dude. as well. Uh, at, least, at least he only needs one outfit. Yeah, that's true. Well, Rom, do you see now what I have to deal with voice actors Dooley? Yeah. I was inspired by Detective McKing too, you know? I'm going to regret asking this, but inspired to do what? Stalk him and build a shrine, of course. I even dyed my hair the same color as his wife. That bit... <coughs> yeah, full of regrets. <coughs> I run an adult store now. 
an adult store like yeah, exactly like that. And we pride ourselves in stocking it all. Old, young, man, woman, envy, uh, regular, boring envy. adults like accountants, weird adults who never fitted in, adults who never <laughs> are sort of still kids. I I'm don't think we're talking right about the same. I am kind of tired and feel like leaping, so I, you guys have fun with the dark side detective. I have fun okay. voicing as <laughs> Thank you for visiting and hope you rest well. Yeah, yeah thanks. No problems. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Be safe, Robin. Yeah. Thank you again Thank for you. joining. Oh, yeah. I got bored and checked uh, Fear, the whole franchise, one through three, and the, the DLC and expansion packs are $5, the whole thing. Okay. <clears throat> we can put it on the list for next year, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I'll see you later. See ya. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, Good. before I forget one thing, we're, I don't think we're going to be able to Borderlands, so I was thinking maybe we could do, uh, instead, um, Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, yeah, since there's, well, no time left for finishing Zombie Island <laughs> this month. But yeah, we yeah. could do some DRG if we can get everyone together for multiplayer. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. See ya. Yes, too. Let's see. Every kind of grown-up you could want to hang out with. Yo, a store for act for renting actual adults. Phew. That's the one. You can rent them by the hour, day, week, or longer. Or even portion adults. But you have to pass a background check, of course. We can't just go letting adults out into the world unsupervised. <laughs> what? Okay, that's some weird-ass pet store kind of thing. <laughs> Mr. Fjord. He's dead asleep. No, no, he's asleep, not dead asleep. Professor Time Loop? Professor Time Loop, I haven't seen you in years. You look exactly the same. <laughs> what even is time? But seriously, it's been, what, two years, three? Uh, something like that, maybe a little longer. Smitch? Uh, I've never been good at reading ages. It's the lack of facial features. <laughs> yep. What was all that? Yeah? You think the entire building shook from someone passing gas? Collector gas? Enough to rock an entire building? Maybe? No, just in case it's not gas. Just in case, mind you, we should get up you know, to the roof and look around, see if we can spot anything strange. Did you get to the roof? It, it, it's straight for the egg. Exit. <coughs> there it is again. It's just in. The sky is falling. Uh, Brickman? Dick Brickman with Dick Brickman's qu uh, man uh, to report that there was a, myster a mysterious quake, man. Uh. Class of 1980-something. <coughs> it's a yearbook. Oh, our old yearbook. Oh, Peppy, don't make me be there. Don't we have a case to solve, guy? Just one second. Five hours later, Kingsley McKing voted most likely. Figures. John Dolan voted most likely to work for the man. Oh, very good. Very clever. I see, I see. What? Work for the man. The man. The man. Demons. That guy works for demons. It's a leave, Dooley, even for you. <laughs> or not. <clears throat> what the <laughs> Ambrose McDermott? Oh yeah, the kid with the beard. Why isn't he here? He was Benjamin uh, buttoning it. He's only about four months old now. Reverse aging. <clears throat> Marvin the Martian. What it most likely to end TV? End up working in, surely. No, don't you remember the fire? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Francis McQueen? Voted most likely to read the yearbook comments at a reunion. Oh. <laughs> Patrick Dooley? Voted most likely to need rescuing from a sinister parallel dimension. <laughs> As if. Dooley? Fern McSurname. Voters most likely to regret coming back to the reunion. 
Bender Hammerson, most likely to have peed in the punch. It was written today and signed by Bender. <laughs> Katie, but, but it was likely to turn to the dark side. We should maybe look her up and make sure she's not overthrowing something somewhere. Kotulak. Okay. Nelson Bozeman. But it's most likely to be an imaginary boy. Baby Hayes. I don't know what that... Uh, I didn't know that cat had a name. Or that she was a student here. Rudy Conway. Most likely to steal his daddy's heart. Oh. Now it has more than bury it in the backyard. It's still sort of cute. It, it has a lot of these. Uh, what? Marshall Bearson? Hmm, this has been scrabbled in since. What is most likely to be a normal human person? Oh man, I was convinced I did win that vote. What? Okay. Uh, uh, Laura Thompson? We went to school with uh, a lot of animals. The school had to make up class numbers to get federal prints. <laughs> Purity sin? In hindsight, we should have known this kid was different. I just thought they were a transfer student. From? Some... From... Was it somewhere else? Well, technically right. Let's see. Any Actually, yeah, they, that stick out to me? That's what a transfer student means. Doesn't matter what species they are. If they're from somewhere else, that makes it... Am I understand this right? Technically? You said the word a lot, technically. <clears throat> Whatever is happening, I give it a thumbs down. Uh, let's check here. That's normal, right? It's a normal thing that's happening? Yeah, that's right. It's normal. Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah. What's that camera symbol there? <laughs> Do you see you know, where that rumbling came from? Nope, not a thing. Except the code is flapping. Oh, well that might be the source. That thing maybe? Why do we get the feeling that's purity sin? I'm just, I'm just going to put a pin in that for now. I think that might be the classmate that was clearly some sort of... <laughs> some sort of demon. It looks like a Cthulhu. Wait, I think I know him. Huh? You have no flashback to that? Okay. I can see your apartment from here. I think he might be holding it. The water tower that funneled the possibly cursed Twin Lakes rain onto children and into children's mouth holes. Whatever does it kill us makes us. Wait, uh, we got that. Whatever doesn't kill us, make us longer. There we go. That's not how to say. That's what. That's why I am a pixel taller than you. That's your half, Dooley. The control lever for the sprinkler system. It has three settings off, focus, and spray. Why are you sharing all this random info about a level, detective? I don't. I don't really know. It's called exposition <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> we can't leave until we know what's going on here. Uh... Oh, we need to... You? Know him? Sorry. The... Back! <laughs> Jeff. All right, fella. You, uh, you okay? I'm not sure. I think I'm a little lost, maybe. It happens to the best of us. Why don't you come with me and we'll see if we can get you home. Okay. This is where we... This is where Dooley ended up in the dark side in the first place at the end of the last game. <laughs> Dry your eyes, Patrick. That buzz sounds like a real jerk. You'll like it here, just like home, but even better, less nagging, am I right? Glad we agreed you don't need to go back there anytime soon. Hey. There he is. Did you order anything yet? 
<laughs> Where are my manners? Everyone, this is my pet, Patrick. We're gonna be best of friends. Uh, I have a best friend. Oh goodness, it talks. You should ne you never said it talks. Talks back, more like. <laughs> Patrick, so help me. What did you hope that <clears throat> what did you hope that clumsy jerk for? Yeah, but almost. Yeah, I'm a cop. Means five percent of my job is helping. Um, uh, come on, let's go do uh, some of that exercise stuff you uh, you're always on about. I want to buff up so I can push over some old ladies. Ah, uh, oh, come on, it'll help your friend find us. How exactly? He's a cop too, right? Stupid do-gooder will probably investigate or something. Less talking, more granny tipping. You want your friend to find you, right? I do. Let's go then, loser! <laughs> oh, oh. You, you okay, Jeff? I heard a barbell drop from the screaming void that is the toilet. Oh. He's uh, he's the one who was lifting that. He's okay. Oh. So is that a police uniform? It is. A dancer's uniform. We're dancing. I guess that's not wrong. Why do you ask? Need some NIP deltoids for an event? What? No way. I think I need to go home, Patrick. I pulled all my muscles. Every last one. Can you massage them better? Oh, uh... Here again? Uh, come on, Patrick, move on. Your friend has. It's been a year. He probably didn't even try looking for you. If you're as good a detective as you keep saying, he'd have found you by now, right? Maybe? I think it's time we accept this is your life now. I... Maybe you're right. Timing. Hello? Dooley! D detective, is that you? Yes, Dooley, it's me. Not long, not long after that, I was teleported back. I guess Yev came to send me off, or maybe I left something behind? Well, that's that. Then let's go back to the party. Well, it's not that, Dooley. This thing is here to find you and it's going to tear the city apart to do it. Just as well we are not in the city then. Hmm, sorry. Just as well we are not in the city then, isn't it? You're right, we're not. And if we lure that thing out here, it won't be either. Yeah, but then it be <laughs> me here. Oh, man. We need to find a way to call out to the creature, so that you're here, so it leaves the city alone. And then? Uh, one step at a time, yeah? Oh great, we need to deal with Buff Thulu. Oh god, and they clever, they sort of foreshadowed him in the last episode. We need to find a way to lure that thing away from the city. Then they must have locked behind us. <clears throat> what's so scared? Wait, what's so scared of the fire needs a special way to escape it? Uh, yep. Let's drop these bad boys. Okay. Hmm, maybe we can use the sports fuel jumbotron and speakers to call out to him, lure him here. We should probably go check out the control room. Now the camera is used to show the game on that big screen. Okay, we need to put Dooley in front of that. And we don't have to play that rubbish typing minigame again. The designer will hear you. The signers, I mean, sorry. Pictures mount. At the Blood Bowl field, we have to make do with cha what, what? At the Blood Bowl field, we have to make do with a shambling mound. There you go. <clears throat> 
Yeah, one of the cameras used to record matches and showed him on the big screen. Yeah. The other feed was better, more field, less brutal. What? The Where other feed was better, more field, less brutal, less great buildings for me. Please, two out of five stars. It reminds me. And if you believe in Paravan Worlds, and I don't. I bet they were. I bet they. Mm, I bet they have stadiums of athletes watching people do normal jobs like filing taxes and washing puppy hairs. Says the uh, man who was stuck in an alternate universe for a year. <laughs> Thought so. Lock needs to find another way in. They've painted this diagram on here. It's place why they have been used in the same place since I was here. Where's their bag just full of jaw straps? Anything of use in this trash can? Only refuse snacks. Wait, only refuse sacks. Let's take them. So they're just garbage bags. The jocks logs. They're jockers. They're the jockers. <laughs> Okay, we need to find a way into the control room. Let's see, this way. Oh, back to the front. Founded in 1901 to keep children out of street gangs. Keep it school. I always wanted to be in a street gang. Also, are we going to comment on that? This thing? Yes. <sighs> a statue of the school mascot of the Horned Gods. May he bleed for us all. May he bleed for us all. And Unos? Good to see you again, boys. Jeremy's Cruelly and Freddie O'Quinn. Yeah, isn't it? You remember us? What, there was not us. Francis McQueen and Patrick Dooley. Oh, yeah. Ah, well, lots of students and faces to forget, you know? What are you boys up to these days? We're police officers. Really? You know the rule, right? You legally can't report anything a past principal has done or testify against him. Remember that, boys? That's not correct. I'm a principal. I think I'd know. Hey, Ben, listen to him, detective. But he's wrong. <laughs> Don't talk about me like I'm not here. Very rude. Usually nothing here. Don't cancel that. <laughs> Twin Lakes High. As bad a school as this uh, was, Twin, Twin Lakes Low was way worse. <coughs> oh, uh... Forgot. So you're an exact dancer now, is it, Screwly? Yes, sir! And they say career guidance gets it wrong. <coughs> Let's see. Photos from way back when. Look, there we are, the class of Nab. <laughs> hey, Professor Timeloop is on all these photos, looking as young as ever. Are you saying I look old? I'm peak me! It's locked. That's. That, that's the bin that Victoria Sponge hit in for three days in order to prank one of the cheerleaders. What? She just waited, leaving off the scraps on the pure throwing until BAM, her prey arrived. What a girl. Concerning me also, <laughs> will impressive? Yeah, concerningly impressive. <laughs> or impressively concerning. <clears throat> yeah. Now, the old school trophies. Most confusing to watch, most needlessly violent, and most hexes used during a match. Those were the days. Also, BRB, I don't care what that principal said, I'm still pretty sure this is a bidet. Good day. Hey, love of duty. And right now, B no, BRB. <coughs> okay. <coughs> uh, let's see. Sorry, picture for graduates only. But we are graduates. Likely story. I go back. That's locked as well. Big Pikmin here. Da, 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 reporting the news of the day, and that news is that the alumni of TL High have come together to relive past mis and miseries. Why? No idea. 
Let's ask this eyewitness. Eh? Go around Dick, uh, Dick's Clicks with me, Dick Brickman, where I go around Twin Lakes and photograph unworthy news pieces. Where on earth would you come back here? I'm sort of in the middle of something here. Before you go, perhaps you've got a few words you'd like to say to your fellow graduates through me, Dick Brickman? No? Good to hear, folks. This man has no idea where he's going, what he's doing here, and where, or where he's going. Good luck out there in the cruel world, Bozo. I want you to know that my TLH tattoo stands for Twin Lakes Heroes, which is me. It was awarded to me by Emily for granting her a tattoo gun. Nothing to do with this place. Uh, Why did you, you give a kid a tattoo gun, Julie? Oh, pardon. Right. I mm. I'm, something hurts my stomach, and it's making me gassy. Okay, we're going to stop soon anyways. <clears throat> Is that the one you and Nelson refilled with fire, somehow? Oh, Detective, we filled them all with fire. That's just one of the helpful things I did that set me in on course with, to become a Blood Wolf Alpha. You what? Oh, we can go into you the workshop. You turned fire extinguishers into flamethrowers? Apparently. Sunglasses Sunglass cool. Too bright. Wait. Sunglasses are cool. Too right poster. There you go. <laughs> How long have you <laughs> achievement too cool for school? Dooley's a cool cat. <clears throat> Dallas Canister. I see we had. <laughs> I see we had voices we could do with the whole squeaky voice thing. Wrong kind of gas. You're the wrong kind of gas. A pair of wire cutters? I bet you tried hard enough you could use them to cut all sort of stuff. Yoink. Now that's uh, now that it's empty, it is just a box. Do it know it does it know it's just Yeah. Does it know it's not fulfilling its purpose? Does it lack the tools upset it? Wait, wait, I bet that the wrong. Or is it toolbox that is only something forced on it by humans? Maybe it's free to follow its dreams whether they are to be filled with flowers, children's toys, or just to lay idly empty and bask in the evening's sun. I guess we never know. Anyway, back to the case. What the heck? <laughs> <coughs> Ew. This is where Mrs. Cenobite would cook. Yes, that's a reference. <laughs> oh boy. This is where Mrs. Cenobite will see to the school's free dental program. <laughs> school didn't have a free. Oh no. One empty tool cabinets. One locked tool cabinets. I really set up security. When we were here, you could take what you liked. I don't think that was the case. I'm not pretty sure it was a free for all. An incomplete workshop project. Looks like a submergible. A submarine, you mean? We already had one of those this season. This is different. Do you think they are trying to beat Matt King's high school underwater record? I still cast suspicion in his diving record. Yep, uh, that would me. Hmm? Uh, well, <laughs> seems a double good time to, you know, to end it because a uh, dinner call apparently just now. Oh okay. dear, <clears throat> that would make a great chin up frame. It's pretty high up, no? Not for these ape arms. Okay, but that's where we'll call it for today. And yeah, we'll, I think we'll at least be able to finish the, this case next time we stream this. Uh, but we'll have to see how long the three extras take. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll be back to this on Tuesday because not to rush it, but we do want to finish this uh, quickly so we can go back to our usuals of uh, Warcraft and Digimon. And, Indeed. Uh, let's see, any people online to... 
to raid. Not too many. There's Jess with Minecraft. Uh, I'm nice with Baldur's Gate. Uh, Chubbers the Moon Seal with Hollow Knight. Redacted Cat with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And the service here with Pacific Drive. And last but not least, Ghost uh, Rough Raccoon with Ghost of Yoshima Director's Cut. I say we go say hi to Jess. I was to yes, suggest that as well. Okay. There, they're on their BRB at the moment, but that'll just make it better to you know, sneak in. So, slash raid and paste. And yeah, before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Jess. And thank you, Pika. And of course, thank you as well, Ram, for joining in. And yeah, it was perfect to have him voice El Dulio. <laughs> it did a damn good job as well. Yeah. And yeah, thank you anyone else who may have been watching now or later. And as always, thank you, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining this madness. Yeah. And it seems that the sword above has helped so far. But especially seeing as we got like two of those self-advertisers across like two different streams in a row. But yeah, hopefully it'll get the point across. But yeah, we'll have to see. Also, I see Noon has been lurking in chat. Hey there. <clears throat> and yeah. Like I said, we'll sort of speed run through the rest of the game by going it, putting it on every of our stream days. Uh, once we're done with it, we will return to Warcraft 3 and Digimon Cyber Sleuth. But yep. for now, let's get it right started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well. And watch out for undead seagulls from the dark side. <laughs> and uh, Yandere Cthulhu's. <laughs> Damn you!